Access granted. Yay! I agree. I agree, Af. Yay, indeed. How you doing? Are you well, my dear? I hope you are. I was thinking about you earlier. Not like that. Well, I mean... That's, uh... <laughs> that's not appropriate for stream. Uh... <laughs> not... You know what I'm saying? Anyway, moving on. Uh... <laughs> how you doing? Are you well? Um... Yeah, no, I thought of you earlier because uh, I was like, it's Thursday. Is that, uh... I know, very inappropriate, Scotty. You know, you have to ban me. You have to, uh, you have to report me to Switch. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's Thursday. Um, uh, Cage is a busy boy. Obviously, he's, he's um, you know, had his interview yesterday. He's got a lot going on with work, his personal life, and everything else. So we'll, um, we'll get, you know, it will, it will get there eventually. I just, uh, I don't. It, uh, could it be next Thursday? Might it not be till after Christmas? I don't know. This is entirely up to Legion Cage, but um, I'm sure it'd be worth the wait when we get up and running. But guys, uh, how are you doing, Scotty? Are you well? Thank you for being here. Um, a little bit late to start. I uh, ha I had the clever idea of um, I said, oh, I've got a bit of time today. Um, I want to clean my room, which I did. But you know, that's why it's like 18 minutes past rather than eight minutes past. You know, don't don't panic. We're here. That's what matters. So yeah, good morning to you folks. Uh, I hope your mornings are on well. I, I still find it weird wrapping my head around after it's like six in the morning for you. So, so actually, I need to think about this. So for you guys, your daylight saving time is completely gone now. What the time you're on now is never going to change, or is it changing one more time and then staying? I need to check when mine is. I'm just wondering because obviously rather than where it was before um you know we had this weird shift of like a couple of weeks i think it was two weeks where i was out of sync with you guys and then we resynced back up now it's going to be a case of you guys stay the same forever and then you know six months of the year i'm in sync and then six months of the year i'm one hour out of sync I'm just curious. I'm not I'm trying to wrap my head around whether it will be. Uh, hopefully, yeah. I don't see why it would. It's not going to go the other direction, is it? So it does mean that I will actually be one hour closer to all of you guys. We're not just ran two random weeks, like you know, every six months. But for a, a six whole six month period, I just wonder if it's the winter or the summer. I can't. I can never wrap my head around it. Uh, yeah, after we never did that. Uh, right, so next month, Scotty. Not for AF. Never, never, never did it in Arizona. So it's like they're like, what, "Why are you? What are you guys doing?" <laughs> but for everywhere else in the whole of the con, con not the continental United States. I don't know how Canada and Mexico deal with it, but um, in the whole of the uh, continental North America. That's what I meant. Not United States. I guess continental United States is everywhere apart from Alaska and Hawaii. I guess I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The country, America. Um, it's all getting lined up and they're never going to do it again. So, uh... Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Athelene, can you imagine? So, oh, yeah. Oh, you guys. You, 
Yeah, we gotta do a different thing to you guys. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can work it out. Um, here we go. Right, so for us. Oh, they need to. Uh, <laughs> um. Ah, uh, yeah. So I've got here. It says apparently on the sixth of November, two in the morning. So the fifth, the night of the fifth. Let's, let's be honest. Your clocks go back one hour for those of you that do it. Um, back in time. So it will be. Yeah, you know, not not twenty past nine. It will be twenty past eight in the morning. Um. And then uh, that that and it will stay that way forever. It will never go forward again. That's actually going to put us what one I me. Mean, that's actually going to put me one hour further away from you guys, isn't it? Um, which is a pain in the ass. Right. So for us. Uh, here we go. Um, th go back one hour. Okay. Okay, so yeah. So it's the same as usual. It's only going to be a one week, though. So ours is the 30th of October. So so the, for the first month of... For, so for the first week of November, I will be one hour closer to all of you guys. Um, And then when yours clocks go back one hour forever we'll be back on the equal time that we are right now then uh sometime um no let me find the uh, next year yeah then we'll be equaled um god yeah it's going the other way that's a pain in the ass for fuck's sake um Well, if we go, if, I can never wrap my bloody head around it. Um, yeah, so then next year, at the end of March, 26th of March, our clocks will go forward an hour. Which actually, no, that actually brings us one hour closer together, doesn't it? So if you, for you guys, it's midday, using Eastern Standard Time. No, it'll put us an hour further apart, for fuck's sake. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to do it, work out the times of this, but I will find out when we get there, but I think that's going to put us one hour apart. So it's not going to be half of the year on five and f half the year on four ahead of Eastern. It's going to be half the year on five and then the other half of the year on six hours ahead. Fuck's sake. I want to line up with you guys. Yeah, no, I'm saying. Time yourself. Um, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, an extra hour of drinking. Yeah, that's the, that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, that's what I've, I've worked out, which is a pain in the ass. As far as I can tell. Yeah, so ju during the, you know, winter, during, you know, end of October... Yeah, so, yeah, November, December, January, February, March. We, wait, we're doing five, we're doing five months. I don't know. I'm going to be five hours ahead of Eastern, like I always have, like we are right now. And then during the summer, it's going to be six hours ahead. God damn it. So, you know, so, Af's, you know, if, if Af wants to catch the start of the stream, she's got to be up at 5 a.m. Scotty's got to be up at 8 a.m. Fuck's sake. That's, unless we... Why couldn't it have been the other way? I don't I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out when we get there. Be the same for you. Oh, my God. I'm, now I'm totally confused. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you're... Yeah, because it'll be the same. You, you're not changing at all. But we are. I don't know. Let's hope that I've just completely... 
misunderstood that, miscalculated that. I can't... I'm not bad at maths, but it's like comparing time zones. It just it screws my head over. I can't wrap my head around it properly. Um, we'll see when we get there. But it could be very disappointing, you know, come April next year, when I'm like, I'm yet another hour further away from you guys. I'm right. It's, it is a big deal, Scotty, because I've got plans. It just... It makes things that much more difficult for, you know, me to do stuff with you guys. You know, I'd rather be an hour the other direction. It, you know, an hour's, like, you know, in time zones, it makes a big deal, doesn't it? You know? It's like, well, what was I, you know, what would I have been doing? It'd be like, yeah, so current stream is 9 till 4 of the day shift. And then suddenly it's like 8 till 3. That's like people's afternoon break. Yeah, see you now down there, Snip Show. I'm going to go to bed. And it's like, yeah, you guys haven't even finished your work day, let alone started your evenings. Um, Yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's a pain. And if I'm trying to, like, drag people into projects and stuff, Scotty, and it's like, hey, I want you involved in this project. Oh, it is. That sounds great. You have to do it at this time on this day. Oh, that's, that sounds like shit now, is. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be doing this thing with you the first thing on a Sunday morning. Or, like, early Sunday afternoon. That's not a thing that I want to do. Uh, ugh, I don't know. What can we do? I can't... Nothing we do about it. It is what it, it is. What it is. Lucky to be here. Yeah, first world problem. You gotta keep the show going. Just got, got dreams! Ambitions. We'll see. Um, but anyway... It's better soundproof and it's a problem Scott. i don't know i don't know what else to do this is apparently like some of the best shizzle yeah make the sun spin faster yeah just i'll get what on that after <laughs> i don't know we'll see we don't know the future holds Yeah, it's not it's not even like even if I change my setup. Even if I say I like um moved my um my, my stream setup into my bedroom and like made my bedroom downstairs. That still doesn't help because then I'm rather than being underneath my brother trying to sleep, I'm next door to my brother trying to sleep. <laughs> um Yeah. I dunno. I yeah, there's no there's no rooms to move to. That's the thing. Um, no basement. Nah, nah, Scotty. I wish I could. Sh I'll show you the inside of the house one day, and you'd be like, "Oh, what? What's what's this?" You you won't. You'd be like, "What? This is a house in the UK." Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just set up in the garden. <laughs> um. Yeah. If only. Um. I don't know. There's no point in stressing it. There's no point in worrying about it. it you just got to do... Um, you move in with Lee. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, I've, got no, I've got no money for rent. He would... Uh, he wants he want something else for rent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's the thing. You know, it's... Um, I, you know, I can't. Even if I had the uh, resources to just, like, move out somewhere, that's not actually something I want to do, regardless uh, move in with Af, but Af, I thought you were like hoping for non-existence soon. I can't really get there, and then oh, where's Af? Oh, she's decided to not exist anymore. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, this is you know even better. What well, I move in, and then you cease to exist. How does that? How does that help in any way, shape, or form? Get a free house. Um, yeah, I think I think Raina might have something to say about that. Um. Become a US citizen. Yeah, just just do that. In fact, is that how is it is it just done by marriage in the States? Like if I just married Atheline, I just automatically it doesn't matter finances don't matter. Uh it, you know, employment doesn't matter. I'm just I, I married one of your citizens, so then I am now a citizen. Um You can do it that way. Okay. It's still complicated. Yeah, I was going to say, what if, like, a month later, Atheline dies? They're going to be, like... They're going to be, like, snooping around. And be like, hey, hang on a minute. What's going on here? Um, 
Yeah, okay, fair enough, Af. There you go. Yeah, and what what's what's the whole thing with um marriage where uh you can only marry one person? What's, what's, that seems silly to me. Um I guess it's just I guess it's to stop like those you know, crazy people who are just going, I wanna marry everyone in the world And they were like, oh, there you go. Can't sort stuff out. It's it's too, too much paperwork. You know what I think we should just get rid of paperwork? I don't know. I don't think we need all that. Anyway, thank you for being here, my lovelies. Um, what is going on? Shall I? Uh... Exactly. That's what I'm talking about, Af. And then they'd be like, oh my God, you just, you're messing the system up. You're rocking the boat, Afeline. The government wouldn't like you. Um, yeah, so we've got some news. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Thank you for sh sharing, uh, Scotty, for sharing uh, Joel's uh, video. Uh, he did that. That's quite interesting. And sad. And that's just the way things go. Joel's, um, I don't know if he's aware of it or if he's, you know, because he, if he, he's doubling down on it, I don't know. He's, um, I he's a good streamer, but he's, um, he seems very suited to YouTube videos. Like what he's trying to, he's like editing off the footage, the little extras he adds in here and there, and like his own voice over. He's got a good voice and he's, um, like measured pace and he's the script he writes for his video. He's, he's 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 pretty damn good at it. I feel. Um, what else? Yes, it's official. Silent Hill Two remake. I saw the teaser trailer. Um, it looks freaking amazing. Uh, and what could see from it? It seems to be accurate. It seems like they are very closely sticking to the uh, the game, even in terms of uh, certain cutscenes that happen, uh, certain puzzles that are in the game, even. Um. It's just like a straight up remake, you know. As far as I can tell, uh, it graphically looks fantastic. Um, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Uh, basically, it's, it's all cutscenes. Basically, I think there's like a few seconds of walking in the street. Uh, that seemed to be the extent of it. So yeah, very excited for that. Looks cool as all bloody hell. Still, they, you know. I would still prefer a Silent Hill 1 remake because that game needs more love and attention than the Silent Hill 2. But, you know, let's be honest. Let's just be honest. The reason they chose Silent Hill 2 is because 2 is the most beloved game in the series, has the most fans. If you did a poll of all Silent Hill fans, pick one game off the bat, which is your favourite. It would not only have the majority of all votes, it may even have more than 50% of the votes. Um, for a simple matter of fact, however much hype there might be around, around a Silent Hill 1 remake, just because it's Silent Hill, there's even more hype and therefore even more Monica Ching um, around Silent Hill 2. So that's the reason. So that, that, so philosophically, it's kind of disappointing to me, but. The, you know, what what they've shown looks freaking fantastic. Uh, Squidge! I don't, Squidge. Happy Thursday to you. Um, yeah, you don't know what he's doing. Uh, uh, you don't, yeah, he, that's the, that, that, I mean, no, but none of us know what we're doing, Scotty. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Literally nobody knows what they're doing. You might know what you're doing with this specific thing. You might be like, ah, I know what I'm doing. And I take this pencil and I put it to paper and I write a word. I know what I'm doing. I'm writing this word or this sentence. Uh, if I move and click my mouse, I know what I'm doing. I'm clicking there with my mouse. Uh, but in the scope of anything else, we don't, none of us know what we're doing. Um, so I don't think you need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, I think part of... Uh, not problem, but uh, issue. It seems too harsh a word. Joel obviously works a lot, and also he's a rock star in a band. Now I know that along came a spider. Are uh, his are more of a priority to him than Twitch or YouTube, as as it should be really. You know, what I mean, if you have the opportunity to be in a rock band that has some amount of success, you should probably take that as far as you can possibly take it. 
Now, if there's a future where, you know, it's 5, 10, 20, 30 years from now, the band are like, you know, let's let's hang it up. Joel can come back and do Twitch and YouTube then. He doesn't, he's not going anywhere, is it? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, I just, I, n noticeably, out of, I mean, Slight puts a lot of uh, effort into YouTube, more than I do. Um, but yeah, I just feel like when I watch those two videos that Joel's put out, I'm like, this is like a bona fide YouTube video in ter you know, in terms of the, its presentation and it, like, you know, there's like a certain vibe of a, a, what is a good YouTube video. Uh, and he seems to have got it down. Um, <clears throat> yeah, streaming plan. Yeah, I, I, I do. I mean, I'm not always around in the evenings, obviously, Scotty. I'm, you know, I'm eating my dinner or thinking about going to bed when you guys are like, get, you know, or the evening. I don't even know what the evening is like on Twitch. You know what I mean? Or the community or whatever. Because I'm, I'm, I'm asleep or I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Um, but, uh, I, I haven't seen him stream in a while. Um, and it's actually a, lot, a, bunch, a load of people we know that I haven't seen stream in a while. But I don't know if that's just because, you know, whether they haven't streamed in a while or just I've just not been around when they've been streaming. <laughs> I say, you know, Joel's like, no, I stream, I stream every single day. Is. I'm like, okay, yeah, just when I'm asleep. Um, I don't know. But, you, should, you know, there's no, he doesn't need to commit to anything, does he? He should decide what he wants to do when he wants to do it. But, um, yeah, that's the major issue, isn't it? That's like what Legion Cage suffers from. Everyone's a piece of Legion Cage, as you should. Uh, but you know, he works a full time job. He's like trying to get a promotion. He's you know, he's got a he's got a wife, a house, uh, you know, and a doggo to look after, and among other things, and cats and stuff. Do you know what I mean? He's um, you know, he's got like family he goes to visit and and does stuff with. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so he's, uh, he he has to sort all that out before your own endeavours. Um. It's, you know, there's no getting around it. Um, but yes. Also, not only was there the announcement of the Silent Hill 2 remake, final thought on that, I hope if it does so very successfully, they just go, oh, actually, because this is Konami we're talking about, they just go, oh, well, we like money, so... Uh, they'll just do the whole... Not the whole series. If they do a successful, decent... Uh, remake of um two they could i could easily see them doing three possibly even four definitely they should take the effort to go back and do the first game um they could even do origins as well although i'm sure that's kind of like one of the least known games that a lot of people kind of underrate us though people don't really care about so not much we can do about that um anything later on the series doesn't really warrant a remake i feel um but yeah there's also they also announced silent hill f f yes that's right f as in the letter f lowercase letter f um the trailer shows it looks really good the teaser trailer they don't show anything about it it did have a couple of hints to previous silent hill games um what's interesting about it this is the first silent hill game set in japan and it is uh, a gigantic uh prequel to anything else that's happened in any of the games it's set in the 60s 1960s in japan somewhere uh now some people might say oh well how can it be silent hill if it's not set in silent hill well silent hill is a name of a town where the majority of the events take place in the series. But Silent Hill is the name of the series. Silent Hill is the name of the setting. It's just also the name of a town where a lot of the occurrences take place. So I personally don't have a problem with that. It doesn't mean anything to me. Um, what it does kind of need to do, it needs to do, kind of have some nods or something to, some connection to the rest of the series. Because if you take the game as on its whatever this game is going to be on its own and you just give it another, another name oh de and you call it like deadly flower horror and you go and it's got nothing related to silent hill anyway 
like you wouldn't even know you'd be like then that's a problem if if they're just making a game and just leveraging the the name silent hill just to sell a get video game i'm not too keen on that i think that's a bit cheap or and this thing it doesn't have to be overt all they have to do um if anyone's not aware just look very briefly no spoilers all the the all the evil darkness in the silent hill series setting it's of a su supernatural origin and it is essentially human cults you know satanic cults like summoning demons and stuff you know that's that's the essence of it so if there is a uh an originator or i don't think there would be because we think we've already got the history but if there's a separate cult doing similar things in japan in the 60s in that setting and similar crazy shizzle happens because of it and those powers are somewhat at least loosely related to the same dark entities that um exist within the previous games and that's all you need that's your connection and that would satisfy me like i said i'd be very disappointed if it's just they just slap the name on it here you go here's generic horror game ah what should we call it let's just let's just paste silent hill on it and there we go that'll scare, make, get some money knowing konami it wouldn't surprise me if they do that but i hope i hope they're not going to do that yeah, anyway, the teaser trailer looks intriguing, to say the least. Roots! How you doing, Root? Are you well? Yeah, it's about the people, exactly. It doesn't need to be set in Silent Hill. Um, looks like uh, Danielle uh, shared the video. It was a good video, but the um, the guy, uh, the gaming Brit, I think he was called, was like obviously a very big Silent Hill fan, and I agreed with almost everything he said in the, the his video. Apart from he was... Um, there's no need and they shouldn't be any more uh silent hill games because you can't he was like of the mind well it has to be set in silent hill or it's not a silent hill game i disagree with that um and also he was like oh and the trope of which you know you could argue the silent hill series not created this but pioneered pioneered it in video games certainly the idea where the horror is uh manifestations of your own uh trauma essentially of the the protagonist and his argument was oh well we've seen this eight times already how many more times can we do this and make it fun you can do it as many times as you want because it's a fun concept you know like if it's fun do it you know it doesn't matter but more important than all that is the fact that caged wolf is over now Nine thousand. How you doing, Wolf? Are you you are you well, sir? Um. Yeah. Press F, maybe, to pay respects that it's dead. I don't know. I don't think it looks intriguing. If if you watch the uh, the little uh teaser trailer, but it doesn't give you anything. It, they make it. They make a point of giving a little nod. It's like a character walking along walking awkwardly dragging a a steel pipe along the ground extremely exactly reminiscent of bubblehead nurses in the second game um so that that was cool right wolf uh thank you sir for your support let me find you on, on our leaderboard here boom fifth flex from wolf there thank you kindly sir appreciate it red mage as he's sneaking in there, getting a bit distracted. I oh, know you forgive me. I I didn't today. So yeah, Red Mage, ever forever uh sharing um this information with me. So I don't have to look at it for it myself. And if it's something you look up yourself anyway, Red Mage, you might as well share it. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying Red Mage, new job. You're now the uh the the video gaming news correspondent of the Conflux. Off you go. And he's like, what? I didn't sign up for this. Is <laughs> Not what I'm saying, but uh, if you do, what you know, if you're looking at random videos anyway, please share the share the shizzle out of them. Um, um, but yeah, uh, Red Mage, uh, Root, Wolf, I hope you're doing well. Um, that's the thing, isn't it? If they stick micro microtransactions or like a season pass or uh 
partition off the end of the game to DLC, then I'll be wanting to fight people. Not that it's go I'm going to be able to get it when it's... Well, one, when it's even going to be released. Two, I'm not... I, I, I still just want to play the original game. The original game still holds up. I don't need to play the remake. I'm not going to go out my way to buy it. Um... Yeah, no, uh, Root. It's not as scary um, as Visage that we've been playing in terms of uh, got ya moments, but um, it is a very well realized uh, horror setting that is it, it actually far darker than anything we've seen in Visage overall. So, yeah. Um, I'll give you a heads up when we uh, get back to that. Um, I'm doing well, Wolf. I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, hot nurses. Oh, yeah, the hot undead covered in blood and dirt. No face nurses. I can't argue with that, Scotty. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, they, I mean, there's there's a reason for all of that, as uh, we can explain when we finally get to the end of uh, Silent Hill 2. Um, um My God, yeah, exactly, exactly. Very. I, I hope they won't do that. But they just um, they just need a good wash. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I don't know, um, how they'd like, yeah, do on a date. Do you know what I mean? They're just they're they're very twitchy and they don't say much. They're just like, they're very violent as well. Now, some guys are into that. Some guys are like, yo. What, what, do you, what do you look for in a woman? Oh, someone who's going to stab me with a, a a kitchen knife. A butcher's knife. Yeah. That's what I'm into. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, we shall explore all of that when we uh, when we get around. But yes. Um, yeah, they've got no mouth, so they're very hangry. <laughs> God, can you imagine being hungry and just... And having food, but... You, you know, you had no way of eating it. That'd be a problem, wouldn't it? Yeah, ex exactly, Root. Yeah, keep you on the edge. <laughs> You're like, uh... hey, how, how was your day, honey? And you're like, ready to <laughs> defend yourself. <laughs> uh, you've had that night, oh my god. Yeah, that's not, oh, right. Have you, Root? Oh my god. <sighs> um,. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you've had to deal with that. But I, I'm I'm assuming that's all behind you in the past now. Not this good that it happened, but relationships be funny. Beyond me, honestly. I've not had the best uh of the most experience or the best of luck, but I I just don't have the emotional uh, fortitude. Or even like the uh, practical time. I can't imagine having a relationship that's going to not impact upon the things that I would want to do with my life, which is this. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, oh, hey, honey. Uh, yeah, what are you up to? Oh, I'm, I'm doing the Islam show. Oh, do you want to hang out with me instead? No. <laughs> it's not. Oh, you should, you should pretend time with me rather than do that. Why? Not gonna work. What's more important than any of that? The best relationship, not that guy Ryan, is over nine thousand. Aren't you, Ryan? You're practically my number one supporter now, Ryan. I hope you're okay with that. I don't want you to feel that there's any obligation or responsibility with that, and I don't want you to feel that you know there's any. Yeah, you know, you have to like keep that support going, or you know, you. you I don't also don't want to like call you out for it either. Like, you know. Yeah, you you are no more or less uh more or less valid than anybody else here. You know. But know that it's greatly appreciated, sir. Everything you, you do for me. Um Oh you Ryan. You're fairly up. There we go. Excellent. Fifteenth. Fifteenth for Ryan. Overtaking Swuba. Get, get that swan down in the in the uh the dirt and the dust. 
fucking belongs. <laughs> I, I'm joking. Sorry. Tubes is an actually an a, a, you know an actual gent. I say that about a lot of people, but it's it's only because it's true. It's um. I feel like m the vast majority of people who are on Twitch, either as streamers or viewers, are wonderful people who want to connect with other wonderful people. Then there are a few bad apples here and there, obviously, because that just exists everywhere at all times. You can't avoid that. Um, you know, but there are actual, uh, you know, the actual, what's it, paragons of virtue, actual awesome people, like really awesome. You know, there's a lot of kind of, I don't know, I don't really know them, so I, I can't really comment. But I've, I've come across like what appear to be me, be like kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say mediocre people because that sounds like I'm trying to say I'm better than other people. I'm not. Um, no one's better than anyone else. But um, people who have not quite found their feet. It's people who are um, still struggling with their um, communication skills. Uh, I, and I just wish them well that they're going to get there. But, um, you know, if I call someone out as a true gent... I'm putting my I'm putting my name to them, so if they behave bad, badly, that reflects upon me. So I don't say it lightly. To the point where I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I called you I called you a gentleman on my stream, and now you go and behave like this. We're having we're having words, me laddo. You know, that, is that, so I hope that makes sense. Um, oh, Liz Truss, who even is she? There's been a dangerous precedent over the past several years in this country, uh, Scotty, where we don't get to we don't get to vote on our prime ministers anymore. We had um, was it David Cameron? I think it was around the time of the uh, the referendum to decide whether we remained as part of the EU or not. Uh, and basically, I think the Prime Minister at the time was David Cameron, and he said, obviously, we were a part of the EU. Uh, and because it didn't go his way, he was kind of, like, forced to resign within the party. But the party was still in power. So they just went, oh, well, we just... We're just uh, hey, country, Great Britain, the United Kingdom, just to let you know, this is your new Prime Minister. We're like, who... We didn't, we didn't vote for her. Oh, yeah, but the, the lead, you, you voted for the party. We're the party. We tell you who is the leader of the party. Hmm. That seems to have gone on for a little bit. Like, again, nobody voted for Boris Johnson. I've lost track of the voting. They just do whatever. I don't know. But anyway, who who was she? I don't care. Get her out of here. Um, You're a politician. Therefore, you're no good. Get you out of here. Uh, no, nah, that's not every politician. That's most. Um... No, yeah, it's great. It's ridiculous, all that. And I don't pay attention to any of it. I'm like, oh, I didn't care about that. Go away. They've done F up the series. We've already F'd the series up. We'll go through some different letters, maybe, Red Mage. Um, there's going to be four games total. It's on their one remake. No, because if that was on the cards, they would have... But one of them's like some crappy mobile game. Um... She's a record for shortest. Yeah, get out of here, Liz Trust. No one wants you. No one asks for you. Nobody wants you. You're gone. God, you... Not that I've got anyone else's. Oh, God, I don't trust the Conservatives or Labour. The Liberal Democrats, which are kind of like the middle of the uh, the, the road uh, party, are basically useless. And it's now the parties. Do you know what I mean? We... I don't know. It's a joke. Um, what are you going to do? I'm not going to worry about any of that. We're just going to do this Nibber show instead. Um, Silent Hill X. Uh, maybe. We could see. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm curious. Either way, I know, there, I know there'll be like a lot of fans who will be pre-ordering the game. I'm not paying sixty dollars or forty dollars or any amount of dollars for a game I already own. All right, I'm not. I'm not doing it. We'll pick it up when it's a couple of quid. Uh, it's several years from now when it's on sale on Steam, or maybe they give it away on Game Pass or something. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah. What is the F for? I, I reckon they would just chose a letter at random. <laughs> Silent Hill. F. <laughs> I guess maybe the S for flower, maybe. There seems to be a lot of flowers going on. Um, f uh, f Or flora. Some, you know, something like that. Yeah, this is true. This is true, Red Mage. Are, as, a comp as a video game company, they're quite scummy, if anyone doesn't know. Most of them are, though. So, I mean, nowadays, most of them are. But anyway, I uh, just want to touch base on that. Um, Squid, I think it's probably time for you to go on your, uh, on your hard lurk, my dear. I'm going to get into Visage. We are very near the end. We've done the uh, three main chapters. We're still stuck in the house trying to figure out what exactly to do. Uh, I will say this, Squidge. Um, well, will we, will we, I, I most assuredly assume that we will complete this game today. Uh, maybe even before, like halfway through the stream. So keep an eye out. Um, we should, well, I can't say for certain though, but. Yeah, <laughs> Ex exactly, Scotty, exactly. Uh, you got extra blankets in the fort route. You're ready. You're forted up. You're blanketed up in the, the fortress. Um, so, okay, so there's stuff we need to find lying around. Okay, bless you. Squidgy. I appreciate you as a mod. Don't, don't, never any obligation to any mods of this channel. Just, um, you don't need to go out of your way for little old me. Just, um, just knowing that you would when you're here. That's, that's all. But yeah, you get you go you go and you two red maids go get some uh, decent work done. Um, yeah, so um, let's jump over there. Let me just recap. So we, I don't know how exactly. I just happened to look at a rat. We were we were walking through the uh the the what the little weird co corridor in the basement, which they're still kind of putting up the insulation in the walls. Um, and I just happened to look up at a light bulb. And then that sent us sent into some weird sequence where we dealt with the the uh, large uh, oily man. Uh, the intense eyes. He's like... He choked us out a few times. Um, a very small self-contained section which resulted in us getting a, what appeared to be a, a piece of glass or crystal uh, which got put in the uh, the collection room. Uh, the little, sh the kind of the little candle, little shrine, uh, with the confession booth, and it appears to be part of a mask um, of some kind, and it also appears that there is are a total of six pieces. I think that's a, a safe guesstimate there. So we've got one. We've got to find five others. What I'm aware of. We've also got black oily goo uh, on, I think, five different spots throughout the house. A couple of them seem to be growing when we check them, but there's nothing specific that I can tell we need to do with them. We also have other clues. We've still got the safe that we don't have a key for. We've still got, uh, I mean, the. I guess we, mi we completely missed the music box that was in Dolores's. Uh, um, chapter. We couldn't find a way in the key for that, because that's just gone now. We've also got the secret lab that is in the basement's basement under the house. Uh, I don't know anything's changed or we've got anything different. If, if we jump down there, we're just going to die again. So I don't know if I'm just failing to work out what we do in that situation. Or whether we um unless um i'm not just gonna take the crowbar down there have i no we cut we probably can't can we because i tried to take the sledgehammer down there and it the game didn't let us it's like no you're not taking this down here the foolish foolish game player um So yeah, I don't really know. Um, 
let's get in there. Let's have a little look around, wander around for like 20 minutes or so, see if we can figure anything out. If not, I'll be asking for clues from you, Ryan. All right? I'd rather get clues from you guys than looking it up, honestly. Um, right, here we go. Uh, let's jump over here. When the um, there we go. Just takes a moment to open Steam and get going. Okay. Oh, it seems to come through quite well on OBS. I know some PC games you have to like switch to the scene in OBS, load up the um, load up the game. And then kind of like alt tab between it, so so OBS can pick it up properly, but it uh, does not seem to be the case here in uh, in Visage. So good on you, Visage. Oh bless you, Ryan. Well, don't go out of your way, buddy. If you're like busy sorting stuff out, uh, if you're at work or if you're sorting stuff out around the house. Yeah, look at look, check it. Let's even see it's starting to seep through the walls and stuff. Like, uh, question mark. I don't know. Um, do you really not? Do you really not? Okay. I'm just gonna do a one tour of the house again. Make sure I'm looking at everything everywhere. Oh, that's not necessary. Don't do that. <laughs> Okay, I'll we'll have a little look upstairs. Not candle. Alright, that's up to the attic. I to feel we don't necessarily need to do anything with. Oh, okay, uh, so just. We are getting some sound in here. Oh, strange frame. Interesting. This to be a, a black and white photo of some steps. We're taking it with us. Okay. And the sound's gone. Maybe that's what I need to listen to that weird sound. And then that will lead us to items, key item. Random photo of nothing or who knows what. Okay, so listen out for uh, a freaky sound. Bill. Okay, so here you go. That's what I'm talking about. We've already found something new that we just I didn't find yesterday. Don't feel that listening to any of Dolores's cassettes again will be very useful. Yeah, so the locked uh, music box is uh, completely gone. Do I even have a lighter at the moment? I'll do. I 
he's got such a friendly face, this turtle. You walking about up there, but are you really? Right, okay. So yeah, okay. Well I guess I mean that's how you complete the game, isn't it? I don't want to like do the the three main chaps and go, oh there we go. We 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 now must kind of uh just we just gonna leave the game here. We've come this far. We might as well finish it off, right? And then I'll, you know, hopefully get some uh, information on uh, what is uh, going on. Um, I hope it's not something real cryptic, like I have to. But um, certain. Oh, I've got. I have to place a candle right here and light it. And then stare at it for 30 seconds. And then turn around 60, 360 on the spot. And then jump up in the air. And, you know, hop on one leg. <laughs> so you can't do all that. But... Okay. Like, oh, you got to sit down in this chair for five hours. Okay, no, I don't really want to do that. See, I already, I already like searched every drawer that I've come across. Oh, got wind blowing through this vent. Okay. That's like above the kitchen, isn't it? Beyond, on the other side of that wall. But there's uh Yeah, that's like on the other side of this wall, there's nothing, uh... Yeah, there's no, nothing and no way there, presumably. Enough of this closes itself every single time. Show you, so there'd be nothing there as well. The TV. Yeah, yeah. The clock going is very scary. Look at it. Stupid clock. Shut up a minute. I'm trying to listen to stuff. And, uh... Let me put my lighter out there. Again. 
can hear that draft on the other side in uh, John's closet here. Which is not exactly. But it seems like it's um on the other side of that. And that's, again, it's like... As if there's a room on the behind the bathroom. And this is like nothing. It's just kind of just leading you. Uh, it's just this just sound from outside. That's, that's weird. I can examine this according to my, uh, um, what's, what's that? Tool tip. Uh, heads up display. Oh, yeah, close the door. Oh, no. But it's not actually letting me pick these up. They seem to be empty anyway, so I don't think it matters, but... Is that... That looks kind of sus. It's not anything, though. Um, that... I mean, that... You can't get more sus than this, but... Black goo... It's kind, of, it's kind of inky, doesn't it? Oily, inky. But, um, excuse me. Yeah, you're groaning up in the attic there. Okay. Yeah, the fact there's a key item suggests we need to use it somewhere. Can't use it. That's all right. Pretty sure we check. We checked the uh, ag th fairly thoroughly yesterday, but let's have a little look again. So we've got that random, random collectible smiley face there. As far as I can tell, there's nothing up here anymore. If there, if once there was, yeah, that weird picture, but that was just somebody rendered and doing added in. That's just the noise coming from uh, outside. That's the tea box for Dolores. It's now empty. Okay. That's the uh, attic done. Um, done the upside of the house. Um, um, yeah, we, when we were on that separate section, we did. Unless it's like... That's a clue for us. We got that's the wall we need to smash there. 
But that would just take us through to the math room. Unless we're supposed to be smashing this wall right here. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's not so not an actual place in the house. Although at the end of that section, we did seem to be under the bathroom when we like when we smashed the final wall down. We seem to be like lower down here, looking in from this perspective into John's room. Um, well, let's keep uh, keep having a gander. It's weird. It's like, hey, Dwayne, you ghost. You resolved the issues of the three other ghosts that were here. And you're like, oh, so does that mean I get to leave or move on that? No, now you're just stuck in the house forever. <laughs> you won. What did I win? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I mean, not about you, but when I was a kid, there was always like a, in the houses I lived in, there was like a little cupboard always under the stairs. It's like a little storage cupboard, but. I guess, uh, not in this house. Um, we've got a random picture, so I wonder if we f we'll find a spot where, like, a picture's missing on the wall or something. We can just kind of, uh, add it to the collection or something. Or do something. I don't know. Yes, it doesn't seem like much point in What about the videotape? Should I watch all the videotapes, see if there's a clue? An extremely haunted basement was a route. Ah, uh, okay. It's not good, is it? Okay, let's um let's take all the videotapes and then see if we uh can uh, make sense of them. Um No, I wasn't meaning to do that. Let's uh let's examine these. Okay, so taped over. Day at the beach, summer 73, indifference. If there's like an order to watch these in. Afternoon at home with Claire and John. Greed. Uh, July 76, family party. Negligence. Uh, I wonder if you like, watch them in chronological order, maybe. Oh no, I wasn't meant to do that. Get up. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Uh, amusement park with. What's the glasses? With. The Ride Part One Good. 
Uh, amusement park preset part two. Okay. I if it's like, I've got to watch them in order. And indifference beach 73. Let me make a note of these. Sorry about TV. I'll turn it off, but it just turns itself back on in a sec. All right, that's what it. So. Right, and again in order. Um, right, home, Claire and John. So we know Claire and John is Dwayne's family. That's greed. Um, so that's like more recent, and maybe some of the others. I guess they're all for Dwayne's family, I would assume. Right. It depends how old. Uh, John is in that video, doesn't it? Right, so July 76 party. Nick Lit Gents. Oh, I don't know which one did I check? Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, oh, sorry, that's amusement park. Park Part 1 is Pride. Right, Amusement Park Part 2 is Prism. And finally... Right, Beach 73, does that say? not five is it is that three or a five Christ, it doesn't even matter i don't know if it matters uh let's try beach 73 indifference right um so the the pencil shark that was down in the basement route god that sounds scary. Okay, let's uh, just go greed first. Okay, baby John. All right, in an air duct. Right, yeah, scary creature. Yeah, okay, these are the creatures that were in, uh, Raken's, uh, thing you used to do. Okay, we've got a little crow hanging, is that on a sofa, or something? Okay, and that's, that's looping now, okay. This amusement park. Yeah, down to the basement. The secret lab. Right, that's in the secret lab, isn't it? Not showing us anything really though. Okay, creepy noise looking around in the lab. Right. 
end of that. Kind of, it looked like some kind of track on the floor, didn't it? Or some kind of conveyor or something? I don't know. I don't know, Rue. It looked, it looked weird. Oh, it was pride. So that was amusement park part one. So let's just jump straight to prison now. Oh no, sorry. Click wrong freaking one. Oh, so we just put a few notes. So lab. That reminds me of that. Um Helps if I did this in the right order, doesn't it? Amusement Park Part 2. Let's just check that. Oh, back in Amusement Park. We got... Right. Wall reassembling itself. I feel like that we've already done that. Now consider... We only have five videotapes, but there does seem to be a total for six. Yeah, this is what we dealt with yesterday, getting the first piece of the mask. Is it that each of these six videotapes gives us clues about how to find the pieces of the mask? Not that it's really a clue, but that, just a wolf coming back together and some light bulbs. That's not much of a clue at all, is it? That's almost silly to call it a clue that does seem to be somewhat suggestive yeah those light bulbs again that's what I'm feeling um so I feel we've done the prison tape then haven't we which suggests that there must be one extra tape somewhere we haven't found And that maybe the other mask pieces are related to uh, what we've already done. Okay. Um, right, family party. Let's check that one. Negligence. What room is that? Look, oh, is that an extra room in the house? It looks like there's a smashed wall there. We got around and like tool up a random wall in the house. Random chains. Was that back in Raken's Hospital? I don't know if we can even go there. What's, th what's that place even? But further into the lab. Okay. Right, negligence. Smash down a random wall. That's what I'm getting from that. Um, greed was... Uh, yeah, afternoon at home with Claire and John. That was... Uh, better, uh, better just uh, check it. Let me just watch this one. Right, random vent. Other side of the vent. Okay. With uh, the random monsters. Uh, sorry, that's correct, uh, Ryan... Uh Interesting. 
it's correct as in each of the videotapes corresponds to uh, one of the uh, each of the pieces of the uh, mask so yeah prison presumably that's the one we've done I feel diligence uh the family party not negligence but it's just indifference the one at the beach i'm not done i think did not do this one i am not writing anything down for it yet <laughs> Okay, yeah, we didn't watch one, this one yet. A chained door. Okay, the thing is, it's only in Dolores' chapter where any doors, doors were chained up. Random picture frames. Right. Some kind of like sitting room. Spiraling up into a foot. Ah, okay, that. Oh, wait. Oh my god, there's loads of clues here. I wish I could freaking pause the video. I've got freaking loads of clues in that. What was was there just extra clues in that? I was not paying attention. Right, here we go. This is the freaking beach. Indifference. Let me make a note of all of this. Oh my god. Um Right, that I don't know, that could be anywhere or anything. pictures don't know who can say right that spiral staircase up in some kind of tower again no idea however here we go uh random doors like a uh, freezer room right we've got the picture there we will just pick that up. Uh, that is where that's in the uh, shrine room. That I can't tell because it's too dark. That's just out in the hallway by the kitchen. Right, hallway, kitchen. I think, I think that's where it was. Um, that real dark room could be the uh, storage room, maybe. It's too dark. I think it might have been, though. Right, okay. I mean, there's no point in really stashing the tapes, I guess. Okay, we've got a few clues. Aside from just looking around randomly. Right, okay, cool. Um, Yeah, just round the corner here. It looked to be, aside from that there. And of course, this would... This is... If there's a secret room, this is above the kitchen, isn't it? This where I said it would be. And you hear that sound. There we go. A strange frame. Okay, cool. So we got that. Um Right, uh, downstairs, which is going to be quickest. Uh, oh, hang on, no, we've got the, uh, the, the sh possibly the shrine room as well. I think it was. Yeah, okay, so these the picture frames are the things that are making that weird noise. A weird whispering noise, so listen out for that. Right, okay. 
Okay, let's get into the basement. Could this be representative of the picture frames? It's got a crack in the wall there. Right, okay, we'll come back to that. Oh my god. All sorts of madness. Wild, wild game. Um, no, we'll go this way. Not really matters, does it? Yeah, the storage room. Cool. Uh, shrine, and now the freezer. Okay, the light is already gone. But that's fine. Hopefully, we'll come across new in a second. We want to take this, though, don't we? Yes, there we go, up there. Now, what to do with those? Um, now. My God, where do we stick all these? We've got like six of the bloody things now. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess I. <laughs> um, is there any lighters in here? Light on here. I don't know. I think we'll have to do without, honestly. That's uh, no, yeah. We were looking at this. This is the room, the TV room, coming through there. Okay, I don't think I smashed the wall down, is it? Oh my god, it's all coming together now, folks. My God, okay. Um, the fizzle. Um, seven days to what video? Cage, Aiden Cage. Yeah, very shoddy workmanship, this guy. Aiden Cage. Um, I just thought that might mean something, but okay, we'll come back to that. Well, we've we've popped this open, haven't we? So let's just head through this way. All right, head into the uh, the supermarket by the looks of it. Um. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. It's, I think it's too late for us anyway, Cage. Oh, really? Yeah, beers are the only things with a special price today. <laughs> not the cheese, not the soups, not the tomatoes, nothing. 
I want I want the spliff peanut butter though. Okay. So we can't take anything apart from beer, apparently. It's not letting us. I want some of these as well though. Pop tarts, my god. Take another four cases. Excellent. Five cases. Five cases of beer. Hundred cans of a premium lager beer. I think I preempted the game. <laughs> you know you want me more beers, Dwayne. Yeah, I've got five. I'm not allowed to take any more. <laughs> This is the, uh, the living room, but single sofa. I guess we have to sit down, don't we? Have a, have a drink and uh, maybe watch watch the TV. Yeah, let's drink. A nice cold beer or two is fine here and then, but if you like, if your plan is to be an alcoholic and you just get drunk, just drinking beer all day seems like so like boring. <laughs> all right, Sarah, it's time for bed now. Daddy, I want a story. Oh dear. I think it would be great if you told her a bedtime story, Twain. It's been a while. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell to my bear. Daddy? Are you just going to ignore her? Wow, what an You're asshole. Always ignoring us, glued to your fucking beers. You don't talk, you don't sleep in the bedroom, you don't get out at all, you just don't care, do you? Why don't you just leave? But right, I'll just drink some beer and then I'll kill you later. How about that? Why are you like that, Tom? Talk to me. It used to be so good to us. Lifting the, the house of evil probably didn't help, did it? That up. Don't drink too much, folks. You cough up shards of glass. Maybe. Okay, cool. 
Um, oh, so that wasn't the monsters or the vent. That was the uh, random wall lab. Uh, indifference was what we were currently looking for. But yeah, we got our uh, item. So yeah, I mean... I wonder how much of the house was an influence... I guess when we, as soon as we step through here. Yeah, we're back in the normal house. No, uh, the, 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 no, <laughs> the normal house. Right, okay. Um... Let me, um... Right, so yeah, yeah, we did the, uh, the prison tape is definitely done. Let me, in fact, that might actually, uh, help to, um, ditch the, uh, tapes as we find them. Yeah, prison, go away. Okay, I thought I'd stored it, but... <laughs> there we go. Um... Alright, so greed is the monster vent. Just gotta find that vent, I guess. I'm sure I've seen one around that looks slightly iffy. Um, that's random wall. Uh, pride is the uh, is the lab downstairs. Right, negligence. This is yeah. This is the random wall, but. Is that the random wall I was just looking at? Yes. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, the supermarket. Right, okay. So negligence is done. Yeah, because he was negligent. Yeah, if you're going to... Um Can I have uh, a family? Don't don't be negligent towards them. Right, okay. Still missing a complete videotape though, even doing all these. Um Right, next Uh I found the yeah, we've got these five pictures, haven't I? Which I don't know exactly what I'm doing, where they're going. Um No, there's something beyond here. It's not like through there, is it? Somehow. Um, hello? You found the safe key. It's very ugly. What did I do to spawn that? Okay. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, right, when I find the vent. Yeah, we're going to need the, the stepladder or something. And the only thing in the safe is a piece of paper. Uh, basement, crossed, crossed out, room 302, question mark. That's it, okay. I'll send down to the basement anyway. I can't 
kind of the basement. Okay, I thought that would look sus, those cracks in the wall. I thought. Not necessary, is it? Oh, so there's like the pictures there. That might have been a clue to them. Unless now we've found that piece of paper has changed something down in the basement. I've got a lighter. This door is now openable. It is. Okay, cool. Making progress. Ah, the chained door. Which is the chained door? I don't remember. Must have been difference. No, we. Yeah, no, must be. Oh dear. Okay. Lucy having a little party there. Uh Uncle Buck's just coming. It's like what is what was what was that? Lucy's like, yeah, it's we're having a rave. Okay, that's gr that's great and all, but I Surely I need to get a piece of the crystal mask there. Ah, this is the vent. I'm sure this is the vent I was thinking of looking for. I always thought it looked sus. Okay, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, no, I wasn't expecting that either, Ryan. I guess that's an Easter egg. So the the step ladder's there. I guess maybe I have to just pick it up. How you doing, Uncle Buck? Are you well, buddy? Have you uh, have you played this all? I oh, you've been you've been playing the uh, Silent Hill one and maybe two as well recently. Um, yeah, well, that was uh. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, ah, there we go. I don't know if we'd fit through here, but... Brain, you're so shit. Another step ladder somewhere. Dwayne, you're a genius. Yeah, there is. In the uh, storage room. There we go. I don't know if we can take this with us or if we should, but all right, second time lucky, eh? Let's try something to light the passage. Okay, well, how about we uh, plant our lighter? Okay, apparently we can crawl through here. We are a ghost, I guess. Um, I 
Oh, excellent. Very nice. Very nice buck. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy the series very much. Yo, Sphinx. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good though, buddy. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I mean... We got a disembodied lighter and a sledgehammer, so I don't see why we couldn't fit through here. I'll get my hammer around that corner there. Oh, wait, can I... Oh, yeah, it should be an awkward. <laughs> oh, here's our little crow buddy. What room even is this? We just stepped into Resident Evil. Wow, okay. Sign the contract. You don't give a fuck. Special contract. Dwayne Anderson. Sign below to agree that you do not give a fuck. <laughs> uh, I, I guess we have to do that. Can't imagine there's anything else here, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay. That's what we've got to sign. Let's do it. I agree. Uh, Mary Doc, how you doing there? Oh, Ryan, thank you for the uh, the gifts up there to uh, Uncle Buck. You stuffed what you've been eating. Mary? God, it's been a while. How are you doing, Mary? You well? Yeah, Dwayne Anderson. We agree that we don't give a fuck. Oh, oh. Oh, we've got to get through all these lads, have we? I think it's pretty best not to touch them. And clearly, we've got to get to that in the middle. Where's your Pico? No, Pico wasn't a, a dove, I don't think. You're good, are you, bud? I'm pleased to hear that, Mary. You're very busy. Yeah, no, no I don't mean to, uh, like, worry about stopping in. I just, I wanted to you know I remembered you. Ah. Oh, dear. Oh, you had your cheese soup. Of course you did, Sphinx. Oh, my God. Jelly. Oh, okay. Oh, my, uh... Controller decided to stop working. It's done that a few times. If the, uh... The cable's not good. Oh, I don't really want to play with the mouse. There we go. Right, okay. I got there's another piece of mask. Right, okay, cool. Let's, um... Head back upstairs briefly. Check out, check out videotape, see where we're at.
So that one was definitely uh, the vent. That's greed. Um. Why not loud? Controllers uh, not having it. I'm trying to examine it. Very finicky. Never mind. Um. Okay, so I've got, I've got left. I've got um, indifference. And pride. All right, indifference was a question mark. Pride was the going. Pride's going down to the lamp to do something, which we're not geared to. Unless everything you need to do the lab puzzle is actually already down there, I don't know. Um, yeah, greed is done. Let's, let me watch indifference again, just to uh, remember it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm excited for the game to exist, uh, Mary. I'm, it's not something I'm going to be getting when it comes out or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it'd be, I'm sure it'd be wonderful. Right, okay, this is the locked door, wasn't it? So this was the, what we just saw Lucy with the, uh, having her little rave. We didn't get a piece of crystal mask out of it, did we? We, we just saw her, and then, there you go, okay, so we've got... Random picture frames on the wall. That's our pictures, right? We've got, need a place to put those. Yeah, so this is one that goes through and shows us where to get all the pictures from. Which I guess we've got all five of them. Yeah, we've got them. Got these. I might as well leave it there. Um, so we need to find a place to put these pictures, basically. That we've got. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, so wherever we put them, it's going to... Uh, it's going to create the picture of a door, isn't it? And then we've also got the lab. And then we've also got one videotape we're completely missing um down to the lab there but obviously we don't want to stay away from that for the most part to the lab but I know what I need to do there and uh, it really helps too much I feel like we've definitely got to uh, find a place to put these yeah the music's completely changed so it's, I feel like that's it's letting us no, we're making some kind of progress. Um, but yeah, Mary, are you excited? Uh, I'm sure it's going to be great. There's no reason why it wouldn't.
that one. Back to all. Just above that, isn't it? It's supposed to be some kind of clue. Um... and lock it. We've, um... Okay, three pieces down, three to go. One is in the lab. One is going to be from uh, finding whatever I need to do with these. Wherever these need to go. It's clearly something I need to click on to arrange them in something, some kind of pattern. And um, one of a videotape we've not even found yet, which obviously I've got zero clues about. So we've definitely made some progress already. Thank you, Sphinx. I appreciate it. I'll get right on that. Oh, bless you, Cage. No, I don't know. I don't know, Cage. He seems to like me for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. You know, Cage, uh, he understands. He's like this scumbag. <laughs> I'm joking. Was it tomorrow you find out uh your interview cage. Bless you, Sphinx. Appreciate it. Um, right, okay, so we've got one complete mystery. Uh, one, uh, one find a place to arrange these pictures in a frame no maybe not um cork board guess not And uh, also get down to the secret lab. Which, I mean, if it's like its own little section, like all the others have just been, I don't see why it would not. You know, like, you, you have. I'm just. We could have got it before. I just wasn't able to work out what I was supposed to be doing there. See it. It's not let's go back through there. Or uh, presumably here. No, it's not okay. Before we head down to the lab, I'm going to check back upstairs one second. 
as in actually right the way upstairs. Now, have we still got that weird whistling sound? Kind of. Not so loud, but I guess we have. Um... No, uh, no benefit of sitting down. Um, <clears throat> now, now. Um, damn, just over a year, Ryan. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Um, you didn't get it, Cage. Oh, right, the third shift lead. So third shift, that's like, what, midnight till first thing in the morning? And when, when did you start that, Cage? Um, yeah, I don't know how he made the key just like appear there. Definitely hear the wind whistling there. I don't know. So we've got a bit of a seam on the wall there. Oh, see that crack running down? Can I not just smash that through? I mean, it seems to be like, like it's going outside, but... I guess not. Take a second. There's plenty of like empty frames and stuff up there. I don't know if that will do anything for us. And if I don't know if, I've, if all five of these even add up to something. I mean, they obviously do, but is there like more than five? That's the question. Ten to six thirty, my God. Damn. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So what? There's a light switch, I don't know. Uh so uh like that, could I not place these pictures here? No. So when are you actually planning on sleeping, Cage? Are you going to sleep during the early evening? Like afternoon, early evening? And you get up and get ready and go to work? Or you going to do the other way around? Come in at like 7 o'clock in the morning and then sleep until afternoon? I don't, obviously, I don't want you to make any decisions based on any uh, plans you have with me or anybody else. Just, you know, you do what's best for you. 
I've just always been one of those people who, um, when I've worked weird shifts, so I have to, my day has to go, wake up, go to work, and then have downtime after work. I can't, I can't have my downtime in the 24 hour period. Yeah, I can't wake up, enjoy myself, then have to go to work in a few hours, then immediately go to bed when I'll get in from work and do it all again. I, I have to get the shit part out of the day, out of the way first. I can't, I'm not good at doing the fun part when I've got the shit part looming over me, if that makes sense. Oh, guys, I'm kind of, I'm almost at a loss here. We've definitely made some decent progress since we started. And I'm like, hey, we figured a few things out. And now we're uh, almost back to square one. Okay. I'm going to head down to the, um, the the secret lab again, I guess. Let's just see if we get anything new. Guess what? Thankfully, the lighters seem to uh, respawn and stuff, so... Not found anywhere to use these pictures yet. No, I can tell. Okay, that's... That's much more gooey than... Uh, yeah, that, that, that oil has grown in size. Certainly from uh from when since we've done other stuff, it seems. Examining there, even this box stop examine. Okay, random. Um, really, Cage will respect you, buddy. Whatever, what, I know that's why Maleggio does it. He's on the the third shift, usually. I know he's been his work's a joke though, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, well, if it works for you, my friend, like I say, it's just for me. I um, I'm just like that's just too depressing. But I I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> it, you know, there's nothing wrong with like you know you wake up and then you're like, oh okay, I've not got to work work straight away. I've got to go and. You know, I can take my time getting ready for work or whatever, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm usually like amped up after work, so I need to like I can't like just immediately go to sleep or whatever. But everyone's different, aren't they? Black. Goo. Okay, so the black goo seems to definitely be lending itself to give us a clue. As to what could be around Angon. Well, I answered that, didn't it? But I mean, that blob could just correspond with, uh, The lab there. Um, I 
Although in theory... There's no reason there shouldn't be something there. Behind this. I don't know. Oh. God, I just thinking a vibe in here. Okay, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do a little a manual save so we know we're like on track up to date. Eighty-six percent. We're getting there, folks. Let's pause it for a second. Um, just catch up with you. Um. No, no, no. Of course, Cage isn't. You know, no. You saw a real life first, bud. Streaming's lovely and wonderful, isn't it? And hanging out with your friends and doing cool stuff is lovely and wonderful. But you, real life has always got to come first. Um. And I suppose that still actually uh, works with your um, with uh, like your evening as well. You're still around in the evening, you know, when like uh, you know V gets in from work or whatever, or you just, you know, you're having breakfast while she's having dinner. But <laughs> it's you know it still uh, it still works, doesn't it? Um, okay, I'm gonna try. Oh. That got big out, didn't it? Very suddenly. I think I better uh, pop some pills in here, I don't know. Drop that. Oh, did you see that? Literally witnessed it grow there. How cool. Obviously, we don't know what it relates to specifically well, i guess it does mean we're making progress i would i'll do another i'll save on top of that previous save there yeah i wouldn't be good at it uh sphinx yeah no, that's fair enough yeah, if, if it works better for you, Cage, then it's... That's all that matters. Right, okay, we'll give this another go. I tried this a couple of times yesterday. It's, uh, will things be different down here now? That we've had a bit of progress in other areas? So weird that we can... Oh, wait. I've got... I've just got to whack that close with, uh... On these stools, have I? Have I? Uh, no. Although, I guess, yeah, because we just, if we managed to turn that, that'd uh, have us covered, wouldn't it? Right. 
Right, yeah, the video was going across here, wasn't it? This this uh, grill here. Let's do what it seems. To... Emergency exit, yes, please. So I think we're uh... yeah the wall looks very fragile you reckon <coughs> yeah I still don't know I still don't know about this uh, this section in fact there's a lighter down here seems very suggestive and because Dwayne is so weak and crap you know if it's me I would swing on that light and try and kick that wall in uh, or, or pull the light down and use it to bat the wall down or something do you know what I mean I don't know I don't know what his problem is he's so he's so crappy and this the window is sus as well and the fact that we've got these uh, massive scratch marks all over the uh, desk there and all over the floor here there's nothing to uh, anything you can move around uh, the stools yeah, ex examine the stool what does that do oh you know what there's not going to be like a key like or something uh Like under one of the uh, stools or something. That would, uh... I think I'm probably not. Grasping at straws here or stools, as the case may be. Yeah, no, we, we're about to die. No, I don't know, folks. Seven, yeah, you're having a bit of deja vu, just a little bit. I don't mean to do that safe, I meant to do the. The other one. How you doing today, Seven? Um, no, you can't take the hammer down there, Ryan, which is stupid. Maybe you can take the crowbar down there. It, like, let's take the crowbar, but not the hammer. I don't know. Okay, that's not the uh, safe file I wanted to do, is it? It's uh, that one there. From the waist up. Yeah, I was. Uh, I've, I've looked around the whole room. I feel seven. Not on the floor. I mean, I'm. I'm sure I looked around everywhere. Um. Yeah, we can't take the hammer down there for some reason, Ryan. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't let us. But maybe we could. Uh, 
the crowbar instead. Maybe it'll let us take that. I don't know why it would let us, you know, do one and not the other. Let's give it a go, though. Oh, it did. <laughs> this wall looks very fragile. Uh, yeah. Can we, can we... Can we actually use our crowbar then? We can use crowbar for there, buddy. <laughs> um, we can't maybe like burn this periodic table. There's something behind it. Ridiculous that we've got a crowbar. And we can't just tear that to pieces. Again, we should be able to pull that down or something. Just tear the place apart, I don't know. Anyway. I set you on fire. Burn. I'm pretty sure I looked in all these cupboards and stuff yesterday. Got the uh, random uh, valves there that they don't want to do anything. Rand so many pieces of paper we saw. Seemingly doesn't also doesn't want to do anything. But it's got chemicals on there. It's trying to maybe give you a clue to make something. It's not something not a very specific point on the periodic table. jumping out of me. Yeah, fire extinguishers. There's another one of those we'd seen. Uh, another vent there. <coughs> well, this just glitched out yesterday and we can bring the hammer down here. I so I would tap that that window there, do you know, you know, there's no reason not to. Uh burn this, no? Or maybe it's, it's something to do with the smoke alarm. Uh with the lighter. Or we'll set the planter on fire. Yeah, I don't know, folks. Um, I guess I'm gonna... It doesn't... I don't, I don't know. It doesn't feel like... You would... Like, if you fall down here, you should be able to do what you need to do if you didn't bring a certain item with you, like the hammer or the crowbar. But it's so sus that you can stand on that. It's, it's weird that... would, uh... Not be a factor. I can't shut myself in there. There's no way I'd really want to. Uh, I don't know. We gotta play around the camera, maybe. Let's see why, though. I don't know, folks. Um, I guess we'll try the, uh, yeah, try the hammer again. I'll be kind of annoyed, Ryan, if, uh, I mean, I guess that's all I can think of. That, uh, 
it just like bugged out. We went down there with a the hammer, but then it didn't actually spawn us in the hammer. So I was like, oh, it doesn't want us to take the hammer down here. No, no, it's just it's just jank. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. It specifically will not allow us to bring the hammer down here. Unless the game is like bugged to all hell. Um... We need to have another look at the uh, the videotape related to the lab, rather than just finding our way down here. So I could see us like I don't know, some setting off some kind of uh, explosion or something. Like smash if we smash through that window. Launching stuff across uh, to smash that wall, or vice versa. But, um, a bit of a loss one, eh, folks. It's like so many things I could do in this situation. Oh, a double light, have we? Oh, baby. Not uh, to do with uh, one of the documents. I just didn't properly look at them all yesterday. But that's just nonsense there. Uh, I can't actually, actually read any of that. <coughs> yeah, Dwayne, you're on the staff list, mate. They'll have all this stuff in it. They can't, surely, in a single package. Ship via ground. Total package is one. 5,000 units of all sorts of uh, different chemicals. How big is the unit? Not very big. Weird, they doesn't even try and open a door. I don't know, folks. It might be close to the time of just looking things up. I don't know. Maybe this gas falls because it's uh, there's still ventilation up there. So if it dispersed in air evenly, then you wouldn't surely you wouldn't actually suffocate. <sighs> um. 
Yeah, we tried that yesterday, Seven. It's, um... There's no, like, interact with the window with the chair option. What? Seriously. I'm sure I tried that yesterday. It's so jank. Janky old game. Yeah, dual wield lighter. That's, <laughs> that's what I do. Um... It depends on the game, Seven. It also depends where, where I'm situated. Uh, I'm sure we did that yesterday. I guess we didn't. Oh, that's, here we go. Because that's like the obvious thing you would think. You'd be like, you know, oh, that broken that window that's janked up there. Let's put this through here. But because the the game is awkward as all hell. It's like, well, we know what you need to do, but we're not going to make it easy for you to do that. Yeah, that's... that's you could have pushed that through. Right, lad. Yeah, we'll see what I'm doing, I expect. Okay, I'm in the side office here. And there's a freaking fire axe, okay. Um, do I need the key? Oh, no, I just gotta open it. Okay, so let's get back through and smash up the wall with the axe. Because that's just how simple it was. If I can climb up on it. You could get through that with the crowbar. Or the hammer. Yeah, I feel that's a bit of a weak mechanic. Oh no, you're trapped! You must get a fire axe. Um you should find something to light the passage first. Okay. Insist. That's my lighter gonna work. Okay, we'll take the, the other lighter. I just I, I resent the fact that the answer to the puzzle is you must get this item that is very similar to another item you previously just had that we don't allow you to take down there. Does that, you know, does that make sense? Yeah, a, a, a crowbar would have got through there easily. A sledgehammer would have actually been even a better you know, tool than a fire axe to get through there, but never mind, Dave. We're letting, we're gonna let it off. They put a lot of work into this game. You can't expect it to be perfect. Right. Okay. Bring us into the a false garage. To get through the window, we just had to tap. We just had to very gently press the, uh, one of the stools to the window to get a fire axe to bust the wall down, Ryan, because of course, you know, hammer can't do what I thought, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Never mind, We've, we we got, we did it. I did try it yesterday, but thank you, Seven, for saying use the stool on the window. It was the very first thing I did yesterday. Obviously, I didn't do it yes properly enough. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you. You're very unnecessary. Oh, 
don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh dear. I'm just maybe trying to get to his goo. Oh. Dun dun dun. There never was a secret lab. Okay, now I'm sort of, sort of confused. So there wasn't. That was just his imagination. Um, I did. I don't know what to say, Cage. I did. Obviously, I didn't do it properly. I didn't do it properly enough. Okay, so that's just storage. Then. Okay. Curious. Right. Um. I don't actually need the door. Right, and that is the lab, is the indifference tape that I... ...is playing at the moment. No, sorry, lab is the pride tape. Indifference is the one we were just, uh... ...was just playing. Right, so... We are down to two pieces, which is this tape as related to these piece of pieces of picture. Let's have a little guess. All right, yeah, so chained door. That's surely that's what we just saw uh Lucy at a rave. And then it amounted to nothing. So I guess we check back there. Yeah. What room is that? Lights on the wall, striped. Two lights on, double lights on the wall, striped um, wallpaper. There seems to be chairs in front of a television on that section. Can't can't see that properly. That's one picture, two picture. Three picture, uh, a four storage room, five. So, wherever that very first dark section is, there's another picture. I think there's a sixth picture to get. I just can't for the freaking life of me tell what it is. Um, no, we saw the chained door, but we got kicked out by Lucy doing her rave. So I reckon once we've got all the bits, we might be able to go through there. Yeah, stripy wallpaper. So it's not, I'm not too worried about that. It's this next first thing coming up now. Where even is that? Not that. That bit that bit in the dark before. I mean darks are just downstairs, doesn't it? Slick Mick. <laughs> you did. Thank you for those for your bits, sir. Um, um I'm not sure. Um I don't think we need to watch that anymore because I'm not sure what how much more I'm gonna glean from it. Let me find out. Uh for you, Ryan. It is. We have the first five tapes. Um. So it is the sixth tape we have not discovered as of yet. Uh. Root, thank you for your bits as well. I appreciate it. That wasn't the storage room. It's really 
We already found the thing in the storage room. Stripey wallpaper TV. But, um, two lights on either side, though. Ah. Obviously, we've got that still, which is obviously a whole thing. And we can't get back through that door. Presumably, we, we can't, and that was just like a weird Easter egg. This wall may be the only stripy wallpaper I've seen in the house, though. Or not. Oh, hello. There we go. Okay, I guess we just step through into the pictures. Cool, there we go. Fresh hell awaits. Wow, this is a... Uh, a lot of empty beer cans. And there's the chained door. Pills. We're washing pills. We're washing pills. Are we are we doing all of them? Yeah, we've got rid of red pill, surely. Show me the reality. Oh, maybe we just gotta do them all. Yeah, exactly. Taste the rainbow. What pills do you want? I, whatever looks the best. I mean, which what pills don't I want? <laughs> you know, some of those trauma dolls. We have some of those. Did you, I did your drugs though. You don't want to let me through even though I did your drugs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a freaky old game. Yeah. I'll, I'll open these doors then. If that's what you need to. Uh, oh. All the pills. Okay. That's jammed. All right. Glass of water. Okay. All right. Paint my deck, buddy. Depression, soulless suffering, sorry, grief, guilt, hatred, agony, indifferent. Lovely. Thankfully, we've got a lighter, so we can just burn our. Uh, 
mental illness away. We're looking for the odd one out, maybe. the lighthouse which steps in the evil then Very impressive graphically. We uh, oh yeah. need both hands to perform getting in a rowboat. Okay, I thought so. I thought that was the case. Yeah, no, he's done an excellent job of the uh, music. Right, and now we're playing Silent Hill 2. We uh anchor over here, so what's going on? Maybe not. with the lighthouse, isn't it? Pickle flavoured beer? What is what is this route? I'll probably go for that. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, I could I can go for tequila. Tequila is like the only spirit uh, that I can drink neat. Uh, cage. Every other spirit I need to like a mix with it. I'm not like Ryan drinking fucking whiskey. Blech. Um. No. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have uh, too much experience with d different flavoured beers, fortunately. I'm, like a, I'm not really just a, in generally an alcohol guy. I can go for it. Here we go. Are we watching any TV before we head up there? We are not. Let's go. Welcome to your domain. I was waiting for you impatiently. What? You tell me this isn't your domain? Nonsense! It's the fruit of your hard labor. Can't you see how everyone enjoys their time here? It's it all thanks to you they have this newfound home. How fulfilled they all seem. Some of them might look a little lost, I concur. But what of it? They have a place to be for all of eternity. 
How delightful for them, courtesy of Dwayne Anderson. <laughs> the dead will whisper tales of your achievements, and you will be remembered forever. Now, now, up you go, chap. Go have a look at your masterpiece. Wow, okay. Okay, we're, that, we're doing that then. Uh... God, that sounds wonderful. Okay, so I'm assuming that there wasn't really a secret lab under the uh, under the floor of the house, and that was actually just representative, and it was somewhat um, part of. Uh, Ray Khan, Ray Khan's uh, delusion that you know that he was paranoid there after him and all the rest of it, it kind of oh you know bled into what was going on with Dwayne. Okay, this is our, this is our our masterpiece, is it? We got married and ruined our marriage and. Ruined the lives of our family. Thank you for that, crew. Dumb meetings. Empty. No, oh, if we inadvertently completed the game, no, no. Explain this to no, me. It can't be, can it? Please talk to me. I love you, Dwayne. I want to help you. First the alcohol, and now this? Who prescribed you this, and why? I want to know so I can help you through it. Are you slowly going insane, Dwayne? Should we be worried? Because we are. Recently, you've been scaring everyone with your cold indifference. Are you thinking of leaving us? What do you want to run from so bad that you drug yourself every day? Do you want to die, Dwayne? Yeah, because it's one of the six videotapes, so... I could help you with that, you know? I'm only with you because you have money. Yep. Yeah. It's probably blood money, but I don't care. I don't care about you. If you, you want to die, die, I'll happily oblige. Do you, you want, want a rope? Want, want me to kick the bucket? Life would be so much easier without your mopey face around, you delusional fuck. Want me to stab you with seven knives? Want me to rip the jaw off your ugly face? How about I break both your legs and leave you to rot in a cellar? You're a disgrace. People despise you. I despise you. Your children despise you. You're horrifying. You should die. You know what? Forget it. I don't want to help you die. Do it yourself. I won't help you into release. Kill yourself by yourself alone. And go to hell where you belong! Wow. Okay. Sea star. How you doing today, Sea Star? Who you are, my dear? Yeah, excellent, excellent tune. I'm a big Cypress Hill fan. Oh, okay. We're, uh... Okay, cool. And that got us a, uh, another piece there. Right, okay. So that should... 
Am I reckoning? Uh, okay, that's the reset door, isn't it? Almost. That should, by my reckoning, be five out of the six mask pieces. Not only that. That should be all five of the ones from the five videotapes we've got. So, I can only assume then that means we... There's one mask piece and one videotape to find that will lead us to it. And then that will get us the end of the game. Oh, okay. I just noticed you can close the blinds. <laughs> Rose, you want to call us? You're home drinking your uh, husband's blood. Oh, the seven altogether, maybe. I didn't realize there's a central one. Okay. There are two more pieces of mask to find. And one videotape. Okay. Uh, I'm doing time. Okay, um, I'm going to step out for uh, a minute. I need to anyway uh but we're kind of like halfway through the stream anyway so i will just actually just go make coffee um so bear with folks if anyone's got any ideas and you don't need to look things up but if you feel there's anything uh, i've missed um okay 93 percent almost there um but i should be looking at to find a videotape and or two pieces of crystal mask let me know. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Bear with me. Curious. Uh, sorry, me. Thank you, yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, hydration there, Sphinx. Yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, have, a, have a ponder, though.
Right. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, Sphinx. Uh, so, Ryan says, look for a dresser. Okay. Well, I would just... That would be in the main bedroom, you know? As, as dressers go. Oh, let me... Uh, actually get back into the game screen. <laughs> I'm sat there in OBS, like, oh, it's good job, we're good. Um, but if you mean a dresser, like, just drawers, then that could be freaking anywhere. Yeah, so I was like, hang on, is there a one less draw there? Yeah. Well, there is, it's because the top one's larger. There's some light in there. Hmm. Uh. I saw it. Obviously, one. Okay, could be kind of a bag, but I can't do anything with that. Oh. Good call, Ryan. Um. Uh, clearly, we want to. Ready for it. Freaky. Yeah, I thought I was like, hang on, is that a piece of No, I think that was just for us looking in the mirror for a minute. I don't know what we got out of crap in our pants there. Um I was like, oh, is that uh, a piece of the mirror? Uh, the uh, mask stuck in the mirror or something, but... Okay, well, that was, uh... That was a thing. Uh, I don't know that that's... Helped us in this regard at all. But maybe it's changed something else around the house. Jeez, jeez Louise. Um,
Still got the uh, howling wind sound. Like from right in here. Uh, is that nope, Ryan, as in something that's not changed elsewhere in the house? I've just missed what is uh, potentially going on down there. Something has appeared in the room. I've just not figured it out yet. opening up there. Okay, we've got candles here, there, and everywhere. Not really necessarily that important. Guess these card uh, file cases just uh, just to throw you off, really. Hmm. All right, do you a big note to the head in the box? Yeah, it was, it was a bit nopey, wasn't it? Yeah, just use the sledgehammer on the uh, mirror. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I was trapped here, I mean, if you weren't a ghost yourself, I don't know, things might be. Uh, if you were, like, just it here, you just would have got the sledgehammer and you'd be outside by now. There'd be, like, no force, like, keeping you here, but. On tape, we are missing. Some of the creepiness, I would I would love to live in this house. If it's not like all ghosted up. It's like the the cool, like unique layout of it. And like all this ex all this the space and all the storage space and all just just all of it, honestly. I'd love to you know, probably we'll have to tear it apart and redecorate it and everything. It's cool as all hell. The freaking... Still looking for the, uh... The uh, hot chocolates put in there. Hmm.
Uh, welcome back, Red Mage. Um, maybe we can drink it. The sausage thing is uh, directly above here. Hang on. I can hear the wind blowing there as well. It's got to be. So that's kind of... Uh, so the bathroom... Is... I don't need to do that. The, the door, the entrance to the bathroom is about there. So this might be actually be it under directly under the bathroom. But the wall of the bathroom kind of ends here. Yeah, so there may be a secret room on the other side of the bathroom. You can hear that. That wind whistling. So we can hear that stood right here. We can hear that in John's closet, and we can hear it on in the other side of the study, uh, like so it's like underneath and behind the bathroom. Yeah. The study up there in the corner. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know, kids. It's the only clue I've got, I feel. Whoa, 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 bro. He just. He's just harassing us now. Oh, I guess he is. That's that. Well, that's interesting. I've only seen him pop out like that. On, like, set pieces. Not just when we randomly wander around the house. Oh, jeez. I'm just next to vents and like, all the vents in the house make that noise. There's just that's the only ones we can get close to. I've no idea. Curious Mr. Oil Man just uh, decided to appear. As the game just feels we've just been like wandering around for too long. I think I should probably close that. So I can kind of hear it a bit there. And of course I can hear it a lot just there. Again, I guess it's just the vents. Um, I don't know. Oh, did it, Red Mage. Oh, very nice. Do I just get the hammer and just... Slapping the chisel out of things? It's not time to shoot ourselves in the head, I assume. That's going to help us. Oh, we've come so far. We 
can't live here a bit there as well. Yeah, the vents. Okay. I can I can only assume that's just an ambient noise then. That's not actually gonna do anything for us one way or another. Can I only assume. I assume I don't need the compass or the uh, the baby monitor again. That would just be a bit random and weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, again, there you go. Vent and wind. So yeah, I don't think that is the clue. I think that's just randomly what everywhere sounds like. Yeah, again, vent. Oh, it's lighting that up there. There's no light bulb there, is there? Oh, interesting, though. The, uh... The oil slick is no longer there. Hmm. Um, no, we're still hunting around for the final tape, Ryan. I'm about ready for you to give me, uh, more clues, buddy. Because, um, I'm kind of at a loss here. We, I'm, I'm glad we did a lot today. Just what I've said yesterday. I told you every single time. It's almost like you're going to do get some amount of progress. Like, if we just killed the stream now and I just stopped playing this game and we came back tomorrow, I'll probably find the tape, but... Obviously, that's not uh, appropriate. Oh, the, the goo has come back. How freaking weird. Is it a timed thing? It just means the oil slick man can... Just like... It's like his spawn points. Okay, bless you. Thank you, Ryan. Or should it just be like on the side? TV went, but okay, we're getting hella uh, crazy music. And doors opening, shutting. Hey, Balfier, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm, um... I'm doing well. I'm doing well, buddy. How are you doing? This one. 
Uh, how, oh, how did I... Addiction, okay. How did I just not... I swear I've checked. I mean, they just... It took a minute for them to appear. I'm just making excuses, I guess. I s I swear that it, um... I've checked. I, I, I'm sure I checked every single draw we've come across in this game. But maybe either one, I just kind of accidentally missed it. Or I, um... Did check it and the game didn't spawn the videotapes until a certain stage in the game. The fact that it's... Alright, anyway. Don't worry about addiction. Here we go. Is that the master bedroom? Yeah, by the... By the... Uh, looking from the dresser there. In the corner of the towards the bed oh it's the spy hole oh no a hole in the ground going down a ladder oh it was a uh, plague doctor face man Yeah, that's presumably where it's going to take us. Mm, is that everything? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. Well, not not too much searching required, I guess. Let's go. Um, uh, as Prime Minister Helen, oh, ba bless you, Balthier. Yeah, I think um, I think I'm probably the last person who should be Prime Minister. But uh, that being said, I don't know if we have ever, ever had a good Prime Minister in this country that I'm aware of. So you know. Is that, is that Claire asleep in the bed? Oh dear. No, it's empty beer cans. That's who he's married to, I guess. Why, hello there, chap. I've been waiting for you for quite some time now. You're my friend, aren't you? No. Care to share a drink with me? Yes. <laughs> oh, sitting down away. What a look you have! Are you tired somehow? I get ya. It's hard to rest in this place, isn't it? Yes, I know. I've been here for quite some time, you know, and I'm glad you came along. But hey, we're here to talk about you, right? Never mind my foolish burdens and talk to me. So you feel confused, don't you? I understand. Everything has been really blurry since you woke up, hasn't it? Do you even know your own name, old friend? Dwayne, of course. There's no mystery here. But I can see that you are wondering if this is real after all. I can assure you, although this might not reassure you, that it is very real. In fact, one might say that this is the first time you're facing reality. No, no, don't look at me like that. I'm on your side, Dwayne. We've been friends for so long, after all. Who am I? Ah, you've always been like this, haven't you? Always asking the wrong questions. Dwayne, 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 listen to me here. 
The real question isn't who am I, but who are you? Dwayne? But that is nothing but a name, my friend. I'm not asking about a name, I'm asking about who you are. Now, now, Dwayne, shush, shush, shush a little bit and take a sip. Remember, you and me, we go a long way. I'm on your side. Why don't we take a little sip to our friendship? I guess, um, after that, yeah, friends, exactly, see, stuff. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess we have no option, but yeah, he's like, hmm, yes, we're old friends. Cheers. I don't know if that's true. I wonder if we're going to get the revelation of what's really if going on. If you want on. me to help you, I've got to know something. Are you a fucking murderer? No? Well, what could be the model. reason behind all that drinking and drugging, then? What's up with you? Oh. You've been seeing things, you say? Things, hmm? Things like that? I don't really Don't like... you worry, my friend. Just take a sip, and everything's oh, yeah. gonna be back to normal. Go ahead. Drink a little of this wonderful poison. It'll do you real good. I would advise you to take that drink now, my friend. Why? We die otherwise. I guess I don't have a choice. Cheers. See? Ain't that sweet? You know you can always rely on this to get you back on track, don't you? Yeah, you remember the coarse taste that burns and slides down your throat, ominously bringing relief and the dulling of your senses. Come on, take another sip. You know you want it. I wonder if what happens if we don't, but I feel like we have to. Cheers. And another sip. Okay. Just, you know, just chuck the bottle, yeah? Cheers. Can I sit here? Uh... Now, Dwayne, will you fucking tell me who you are? Oh my god. Intense. Thank you for the follow there, STMNS. Stims. Let me uh, know what you would like me to refer to you as. Um, ST? Okay, let's just, let's just chug the booze. I was trying to drink beer up in the house, you know what I mean? So. Ah, a piece of the mask. Interesting. No more booze. Right, okay. I guess that means we're uh, leaving now. I assume. Um. Oh, f ah, stamina. Got ya. That's all right. St stamina. We'll play it by ya. But anyway, are you f uh, welcome, friend? Are you a fan of this game? So you found us today. Uh, and if you're familiar with it, if um, if you care about spoilers, I would just give you a little warning. We're quite near the end, I think. So who knows what? There we go. What may you may or may not see? I don't. I don't want to assume. Uh, 
but if you if you're already familiar and you completed the game then uh you probably got a rough idea of where we are so that should be mask piece number six of seven right with all videotapes completed so let me just grab a little look at it yeah there we go one piece to go um my well, I yeah, I would have <laughs> would have expired long ago if that was the case <laughs> I I rarely drink though I, I, I do enjoy it you know if I just had like a supply of alcohol I could see myself abusing it a little bit um you know just take the edge off to speak right okay um well what next not videotape maybe uh if we get the take the videotape out of the vcr and then we uh put it in this little uh this little box that like does something There we go. Now what? Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. Uh, Scott, that's anything with this game. First thing on Monday, I was like, oh my God, there's a radio. It turned itself on. Oh no, the door moved. Oh, the light turned itself on now. Like, yo, oily bloke. Can I not just fight you with my hammer? No. Uh, <laughs> um, it's it's let you get used to it. You you, you know you do get used to it. I think uh, also the fact that we I feel like uh, Lucy's uh, chapter was the scariest, and the fact that we uh, did that first. Maybe that's a good thing, but uh, it, I don't know. Right, well, um... I, uh... I'm... Not too sure... What, uh, we should be doing next. Yeah, the only thing I've got is this. Still. We've had that for, like, ages. But it seems that you could potentially get some of the mask pieces like uh, early on in between some of the chapters i'm not too sure um it's not easy to find stamina maybe uh maybe get another clue in a second um um you've never tried alcohol in your life balthia like you, you've not even tried it though You've never, literally, not a single drink or a single sip of somebody else's drink. And what about this, Balthier? What about, uh, like, desserts that have alcohol in them? It must have been, it must have been a couple. Surely. Um... Where, where could I even think? Uh, there might be just randomly hanging around or something. I don't mind, like, searching the whole house again if it's, like, something has changed since we've done all that. Because then it's like, okay, cool, we can... We're making some progress. We're doing a thing, but... Rose? Have you seen... Have you seen it, Rose? Uh... Ah, it's just for an Easter egg. Oh, it's stamina. Cool. Yeah, I, I did wonder about that. La the last resort. Oh, potentially. That's a good point, actually, Ryan. 
because I don't think it's going to let you out. It may just be like, aha, no, no way out of this for you. Here's a piece of a mask. And then maybe some people have done that near the beginning of the game. Okay. Yeah, I can always just save it before. Because obviously it's not going to be game over or anything, is it? It's just... I just didn't really th think about it necessarily. Okay, let's do that. And that would, yeah, that would like obviously not be videotape related. And it is like definitely its thing, isn't it? You can imagine that. Are you like, oh, I'm not killing myself. And then you just like wander around the game for the next rest of your life and you never make any progress with it. Um, okay, I'll just. Do a save, just in case this is not it. 96%, folks. Um. Oh, yeah, it might not. We've not, we've not tried it the whole game through, have we? So, all it's going to... The worst it's going to do is, like, uh, we just die, and it's game over, and then we just load that save up again. Let's find out, then. Have we got an, uh, let's go for an auto-save as I step through here. Let's... Aim the gun at your head. Okay. Why not? You made the first time. Easy way out achievement. Okay. <laughs> I guess it is the easy way out. Oh. A reflection? That new videotape there. I didn't even... I was, so I was like... I don't know if anyone saw what room that was in. It's like sat on the side though. Okay, yeah, we could have done this like at the start of the game. I just was like, nah, we're not doing this. Okay, that puts us right back there. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe the game figures you might want to try that to start with. Um, right, there's new videotape somewhere. On a shelf somewhere. Um... be like a bookcase um with other random junk on it Affliction, not reflection. Okay. Well, either way, this should... Uh... This should presumably lead us to... Uh... Direct us... To the seventh and final mask piece, I would hope. Can't use it here. Sorry, my cursor jumped off of it. Um, you've had it in food, but even that's rare. Steak and ale. Yeah, I don't know if that counts, Ralph, here, but... Yeah, fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Like I said, I'm similar, but I, I, I do enjoy it. It's just not something I would really spend money on. Right, okay, a pipe. Going into a pipe. Right, it's one of the vault door. I've seen anything like that before. Ah, okay. 
chairs with stuff covered up. Okay, let's just check that again. I can't tell what that is exactly. Looks like some kind of metal grill, and we're going through the center of it into something. Yeah, vault door. Never even seen that. Attic. That's got to be in the attic, surely. A random chair and, like, wooden floorboards and then just, like, stuff hanging around. Of it. This it might not be, to be fair, but it's a good place to start looking. A well. Yeah, um. Yeah, we've not seen the well, have we? Okay, there's definitely a chair. Oh, that's a dumpster down chair. That's no good. Oh, wait, maybe not then. Um. Get up there. Yeah, kind of like that. Sheets like that. But imagine if there's a chair just sat right there. That would have been the perfect spot. Right, okay, not up here then. It's got to be downstairs then, isn't it? In the basement somewhere. Surely. Yeah, indeed, Scoy. You know, uh, there seems to be uh, some research on. Uh, okay, there's no, uh, no chair in here. Some research on um, the gene it is like, somewhat genetic if uh, people have a predisposition towards addic addiction in general. But I feel that even if you do, that's no excuse if you like not behaving yourself. You know, you can't be like, oh, it's, it's my jeans. That's why I'm, you know, wilding out. That's like, mm. is it? It can, you know, it can be more difficult. It's like, um, I can smoke a cigarette and enjoy it and, uh, Later on in the day, I might be like have the uh, residual uh, effects of nicotine withdrawal, and be like, "Oh, I would fancy another cigarette right now. That would be that would be nice. That'd be a good, nice, yummy thing." But it won't like bother me. I can just dismiss the feeling. I can just be like, "Ah, oh, whatever. Screw you." I'm like more cognizant of it. There's other people who are like, they can, they cannot, they just can't do it. They're just like, I know this is terrible for me. I know that I'm shortening my lifespan. But I'm willing to have less life just to not have this uh, slightly annoying feeling that soon goes away after, a, you know, a couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, 
Um. It has to be outside. Right, yeah, how do we get outside then? Unless we're, unless we're allowed to go outside now. No, exactly, Root. And that's the main thing, isn't it? You know, no one chooses... No one's like... Becomes a heroin addict on a on a whim. They do it because they're like... They have no... You know, they've just kind of given up on life. So they're just like... Yeah, I might as well do this. I don't really care. Um... Anyone sing me a clue? I'll feel free. Uh, okay, here, here's a random chairs. There was a random chair in here, was there? I don't think there was. Uh, ah. Ah, oh. Okay, that's jammed, but okay, we've got a bit of uh, activity in here potentially. I'll stick a candle there, door. It's going to do something fancy or special for us. We did have a few candles knocking around somewhere, didn't we? Um, right downstairs in the basement. Yeah, it's the only place in the house that even looks remotely like... Uh, what I've... Uh, Kind of thing. Uh, what well, looked like it was in the videotape. Turn the light off, maybe. Okay. Um, let me check the video again real quick. It's right there. I can't tell exactly what it is. It's like the chimney. It's not like it has a chimney in this place, is it? I, I, I swear that looks like the room. I swear it does. Um, sorry, I'm. Uh, I'll catch up with that in a second. It definitely looked like we're looking at this from that angle there. Yeah, lights on the wall. Definitely look like it to me. I 
I don't know. Let's leave it a second. I'm just going to catch up with you guys. I think someone said it's something interesting. Scotty, of course. Uh, yeah. Self-control is a choice. Um, oh my God, yeah. No, yeah, it's it's also strange. The things that are um, typically nicer to eat are usually worse for you, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it's still a choice, isn't it? It could be that people are, have, uh, you know, from various, you know, genetic differences or even trauma that they, you know, different brains uh, produce less or it's all less or it's more difficult to produce like a dopamine of any kind some people are just not naturally very happy um no <laughs> you don't know how that goes about the like, i've never tried alcohol in my life but uh let me just uh bosh this cocaine uh, <laughs> uh. Well, good on you, Root. I respect it. Oh, Balthier, yeah, well, then you can tell that. And you can answer that question. Um, you don't say anything interesting, Scotty. Well, I disagree with that. Um, Yeah, and you learn from experience, of course, as well. You do. Of course. Of course, Sphinx. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Yes, for your your job, though, isn't it? Scotty, but what? hundred Up to $200 a week. So you're spending anywhere up to $800 every month just to fuel your vehicle. The fizzle. Um, bro. All right, uh, Ryan, Stamina, anyone else? I don't know if has got any ideas. Let me know. I feel this This is the mirror room here is the room that was we saw on the videotape. We were looking at this chair. To be fair, it didn't have a candle on it. With the, the stuff hanging on it. Let me just double check. I guess I'll have another little look. Yeah, there looks to be trees or something outside. Roots. Something. Not our, not our route, just like random roots. Yeah, crazy, like, massive vault looking door. Hundred percent, hundred percent is that room. Ninety nine percent. Let's go with that instead. Uh, no, no worries, stamina. It's not. It's not. On, it's not on you. I know some people. Yeah, look at the doors even scratched up and stuff. Just to be like, yeah, just saying now, buddy. I scratched up the door. I'm not gonna do something clever like turn the. Just sit here in the dark, have I? Okay, I don't think I... No, let's um, pick up the candle, I guess. That's not really helping, is it? I don't know. Yeah, same, same chair in the same position. That hanging down. Lights on the walls there. It's like, okay, should I just... Uh, I'm just going to do a number on the place. 
And this has got this jam door as well, which is uh, in itself pretty sus. That's cool. There's no option to um, replace the bulbs in these lights, but then they've again in the um, oh, is what's his face kind of coming for a wonder? I don't know. I see not a thing anywhere. I'm have to look this up, folks. I really don't want to. Uh, yeah, why not, Ryan? If you can, you should. Yeah, exactly, Scoy. Let me start. If you, if you, the, this new show just vanishes one day and you can't get hold of me, guys. You just, just know that's just how it is. You can't. Just don't get around it. Uh. Interesting. I've got an auto save taking the tape out.
I don't know why that would give us a save for that. Honestly. this up soon um don't feel like i'm gonna be assassinated soon no i don't think i don't think it's gonna waste uh the effort to do that for me uh, about here five minutes <laughs> yeah uh No, seemingly not. Seemingly, uh, seemingly not, right? That's, that's been doing anything. They kind of change. It's just, uh, it's just like where the the oily man, uh, turns up. Doesn't really do anything. The thing is, I think I feel like we found the right spot from the videotape, which, which is the room upstairs, the mirror room. But there's nothing there. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't need to do much. As far as I can tell. Um John walking with mum. Fiction. Oh. Oh, is that? I think that was just the controller being weird then. But, oh, did that snap up there on the ceiling? No. Yeah, let's give me creepy music. Let me know what I'm supposed to be doing here, please. Yolfsky Sphinx. Until next time, you take care. Have a good evening, my dear. All right, it's twenty past six. Uh, I mean, guys, do you, do you know Ryan? I guess it's time for me to look this up, which is 
tragic, the final hurdle of the game. I'll just... Yeah, we want to get, get in the plug hole. That's uh, obviously not what that was. Uh, Red Mage, you get that strength plus one. You get after it. Damn, this is a, this mug's uh, pretty tough. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to do it, guys. It's only so long I can just wander around in circles, not achieving anything, unfortunately. Um. Let's have a look. Um, visage, affliction type. I don't want to look at uh YouTube videos. I read read a guide. Affliction, addiction, rather. Uh, you got the tape. As addiction, sorry, yeah, uh, affliction. There you go. Oh, okay, I've got the right place and the right room. Okay, that's what I needed. I think that's the right thing. Let me have a look. No, I just had to look it up. It wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. It's interesting, though, that there's... Uh... Nothing to indicate. Yeah, apparently these floorboards here, they do actually kind of look slightly different, but... You just need to get the... Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, interact. There's a gap in the floor. Oh, they're not so subtle. So very subtle. You need the crowbar to just try that open. Unbelievable. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's, that's the only drawback of a game like this. Is there's one little thing you're looking for. 
and if you kind of not literally looking at every single spot in the whole area looking at every little thing you might just not get it so i'm not against um you know you know puzzly games or uh or what you know, any kind of game whatever but you get to the point where i like to feel like i'm progressing or i understand the puzzle does that make sense if i if you, it's just you have to find one exact specific spot on the floor so we knew the puzzle was this room but assumingly i needed more than that random um hello this is a whole thing which i presume is not actually under the house Don't swing. Are you feeling better? At all? Yeah, well, uh, it's just getting a little, little jank, little, little buggy. Okay, we came up here to move that, did we? I see. You're still not well, but you're on the mend. I'm pleased to hear that. I think we're about to finish this game. I'm not far off anyway. Alright, so we moved that because he couldn't, obviously, you know, because Dwayne, obviously, Ghost Dwayne can't. Even as a ghost, he can't, like, do. Th you just can't do stuff. He's a bit he's a bit shit, if we're honest. I'm not judging him, it's just an observation. Oh, you went back to work yesterday in person, you not good i'm gonna climb up there don't see that i need to let's hit this door at the end it's a uh, very very obvious door we're we'll looking some of this up in a minute guys I'm so i'm trying to figure this game out like magnetic card reader we have no magnetic card okay let's run up here and see what we can see Ah, door over that side. Yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh, there's a door on that side as well. Or what only if it's meant to represent, but... Oh, locker room. Okay. 
Oh, and the blood stains, obviously, it's locked. Okay, the, the locker is locked. Okay, we're looking for a locker key. Probably on the other side, I guess. Yeah. There's a section like this. I don't feel it's really adding much. If we go over there and find a locker key and then come back over here to open that bloody locker to find a key card to go through the door at the end, it's... It's not like really adding much to the game, apart from your the, your time spent playing the game. Um, we'll see. We did, we did. That was for a different. Uh, that was in the hospital though, when we were doing uh, uh, Raycan's uh, Raycan, Rakan chapter. And oh, okay. In the cafeteria, eh? Go for a sandwich right about now. Lewis Taylor will take his key. Um. Oh! No, no, bro. What the? Oh, no. Son. Oh, is he. He's gonna get us. Okay, let's come on. Yo, Sly, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Two minute version. <laughs> yeah, what's I supposed to. Do? I guess we. We have to avoid that guy, but we can't go out that way. I don't know. I don't know. How you doing, Sly? He well. <laughs> Root, that's that's what I'm here, Root. So I can play the games you don't want to play. Well, yeah, no, but in seriousness, thanks for hanging out, even though it's obviously not your kind of thing. Ah, unless we can jump over the counter and we have to just kite him around. Let's see how we're getting up there, though. we got kiting for a minute. I mean... Ah. Okay, I'll see. There's no reason to go that way. <laughs> there is. It's because Oily Man is around here. Gold, Golden Bennett. Dwayne, how did you manage to actually do something physical? How how did you manage? This game is not. It, if you are, it depends how you feel about treasure treasure hunting puzzle games. Slight. If you are not a fan of them, then you could definitely say yes. It is difficult. Because you, to progress, you might have to run around this whole house 
Actually, we're not even in the house at the minute for like ages looking for one particular thing and you just don't find it and then you you're just like okay so you know i i, I don't mind difficult games or confusing games i just always i feel i need to for me to enjoy a game i feel i need to whether i am or not i feel like i i need to sorry rephrase it i need to feel like i'm always making some progress even if it's very minimal progress um I feel like I do need to be getting somewhere. So if you're just running around, not doing anything. Just walk, in, walk into a room, look around, nothing there. Walk into the next room, look around, nothing there. Do that in the whole house, nothing there. You do it again. You go into every room in the house again, nothing there. You do it a third time. You do it a fourth time. You just keep... Oh my god. I thought he was from up on the thing. You just do it forever. And then you like it's only so many times you can do that before you're like, well, what do I do now? I have to look this up. Or I have to just quit playing the game. Or, you know, or I'll do it a fifth time. Do it twenty twenty do it sixty-nine times, dude. You know, how many how many times we're doing it? There's a limit. Okay. There we go. And this is the tr ah, here we go. This is the hole in in the well what's on plug hole oh the roots they weren't roots they were tree branches yeah i'll go for a, an apple oh he didn't even try and go for the apple he's like we're just gonna, we're gonna jump in this well oh, i see do both chew on the apple on the on the way down very shiny oh no it's not looking good now oh no oh no don't eat that put that back yeah chuck that down there put on that at least it, at least it turned manky before he took about a bite out <laughs> yummy Bodies everywhere. Queen, just take care. Get back to work. Always a pleasure. Oh, okay. And we, we just came out of the water tank. Interesting. And presumably, hopefully, the final piece of the crystal mask. Which maybe we put that on and then we can confess our sins.
don't know what's going to happen, so I guess I should just save it for a second. 100%. There you go. We've, we've done everything. Um, maybe I should look up the, uh, as Stamina said, the, uh, the milk is, uh, the hot chocolate is, uh, an Easter egg. Just so we don't miss it. Um, I guess we probably should. Um, oh, <laughs> It's like Visage Milk just brings up uh, skin care products. There you go. Chocolate milk. Oh, it brings up lots of interesting, yummy looking pictures, but. Oh, it's just an achievement. Okay. But still, if it's funny. Okay. In, weird. Uh, milk, yeah, the hot chocolate packet is in the bottom drawer next to the oven. Again, there's me being like, oh, yeah, we, 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 we've looked at all the, uh, we've looked at all the drawers. Obviously not true. Oh, wow. It's literally right next to us. <laughs> There we go. We've got some dope cow milk. Hot chocolate powder. Nom. That milk's been sat on the side there for uh, a couple of days at this point. Not to mention it was in the refrigerator, which wasn't hadn't been on for... that. This, this dope cow milk is not... It's not doing too well. It's, bit, it's probably gone off. It probably be a bit, look a bit more lumpier than that. I expect. Oh. Oh dear. Can we drink it any... Oh, it vanished. Um, the mug is gone. Oh, did it just, like, teleport somewhere? We have to, like, find it. Okay, that was a bit random. I wasn't uh, expecting that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, microwave hot chocolate. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, Root, but yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Did she? Do you reckon she did? To go up to the attic? I'm just going to look, because... Uh... Um... Okay. It's it's gone upstairs apparently. It's gone up to John's room. Let's see a bloody thing that way. Oh. Okay, don't know where that's been, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. I don't care. I think it's been to another dimension. The aliens picked it up. Alright, that was kind kind of interesting, but I'm not really sure why that was they went to the effort to add that in uh, uh, yeah really i don't i don't know 
Oh, oily man. We're not done with you yet. We've, we've completed the game, buddy. Right, so in the answer to the question who is uh who is Dwayne is I guess if he puts this mask on is whatever he's looking at is what he is because it reflects so if he looks at Jesus he'd be, he's Jesus if he looks at uh Lucy's jaw he's Lucy's jaw I don't know yeah black hole flavor it's not it's, it's not that great you think it sounds great doesn't it it's actually not, apparently. Okay. Right, okay. We've got a nice... Nice kind of a ready orange glow to everything. Or a bit of a misty effect out here. Oh, oh! Okay. It's morning. Are we just heading out the front door, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Still going out the front door. Uh, okay, heading upstairs. No. Okay, looks like they've just moved in, maybe. Or not, because half their stuff's everywhere. Feel like we've been led somewhere. Oh, back down to the basement, presumably. Space flavor of Coke. What does space taste like, Root? jump over for a second that's super super loud uh okay uh made it to heaven i don't know now somebody said potentially a second ago there's different endings so maybe we we got the best or good ending because we like 100 percent of the game yeah seems to be i don't know why he gets to go to heaven after i don't know i guess i, I believe that everyone is on a long enough timeline every soul should receive redemption but i feel if like you know two weeks ago you murdered your wife your son and your daughter because you're just a crazy person you're you're, you're a drug addict or an alcoholic and also maybe you're possessed by a ghost i don't know we don't really know um yeah we'll look all this up in a minute uh Route. I want more. I want more explanation of the overall story as well. Um, yeah, thank you, Cage. Um, yeah, I guess. So, I, I guess to get the ending, though, we're not we're not obligated though to do all three chapters. And also find all of the um the mask pieces. I don't know. I'll jump back over to the game in a second once the credits have run. Um Yeah, we'll look up what the all the conditions of the other ending is or uh, endings are. 
and I'll see if I can get some X. Yeah, scenario B. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can get some explanation into. Like the actual, like, you know, the chronological story of what actually happened in that house. Was it just coincidence? There was mental illness that then they became ghosts? Was there some ghost there that affected the mental uh, health of the people, the residents of that house? Was there actually a secret lab? There's some government experiment? I think, I guess not, but. Less than 30 minutes to speed run the game. Right, my god. Okay. Okay, and that's it. That's the game. It's it's done. Okay. Let's do some, let's go on the research. Well, for, yeah, I'll I'll talk about the game as a whole after we've done our research. Okay, let's jump over here. Um right, here we go. Uh Visage Endings. Um, uh, I've completed all three chapters right for obtaining the good ending. I have to cover all mask fragments and all videotapes. Is right, we did that. Uh, and the comic page, pages recovered are good for something. And how to obtain the bad ending, just in case. Okay, let's have a look. Um, Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, this, there only seems to be two endings. To get the bad ending, you have to shoot your said self in the head. Not once, like we had to. Seven times. You're just like, oh, I'm going to... I'm just going to... Uh, why anyone would think to do that? Um, ah, right. Hence, the any percentage speed run is you just immediately... As soon as you load into the game, run downstairs, break the wall, get into the basement, shoot yourself, do that section to get the first uh, mask piece, respawn into the house, run downstairs, shoot yourself, run downstairs, shoot yourself, etc. Um... Right, okay, so that's explained the two endings. I don't know what the ending is. Um... So let's, um, I don't want, I don't, everyone to, oh, I can make a YouTube video. What happened to the days of people wanting to just read things? Am I like some, like, dinosaur in that regard? Um. Okay. Explain the game. No, no, no tell me what it is. Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, here we go. Bizarre, just disturbing story explained. Let's see if it adds up. If I guess it's not official. This is just clever people putting together. Um. Uh. Sorry, out. Wait, sorry, you want to give the game a rating out of two, Ryan? <laughs> but that's in zero, one, or two. Uh. Yeah, yeah, first person shooter speedrun, and you just you you're the shooter and you're the target. Um well, let's have a look. Um Um, okay, this this a fan theory says it start he opens with my theory is that Dwayne was working with some kind of group that are experimenting with drug uh, LSD or halluc hallucinogens of some kind. 
yeah the house is a controlled environment which lends to does tie in with um the you know, the secret lab but the secret lab wasn't really there or maybe it was and he was hallucinating the, after the fact that he wasn't um anyone who moved in with test subjects uh Um, I mean, that's basically is, but that's the thing. It's, I don't know. That's, it seems to, why was it? Why did he end up living in the house then? Unless he's hallucinating the whole thing. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that explanation. There doesn't seem to be any actual uh, story explanation. Well, I mean, you got YouTube people don't have YouTube videos. Just write something. Like, I, I would show you that video, but I want to get DCMA'd, so we're going to leave it. Um, story explained YouTube. Story explained YouTube. Here we go. Let's see if let's try this one. Can anyone sum up the story of Vazaj? Uh, this uh, <laughs> um, Jibber Jabber out to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean it's on YouTube. Red Mage it's not cut up properly. It's just un as under the Isnib show and tagged for whatever game. But you know, and you guys want to see me chat nonsense, but people who don't know me or us don't want to see that. Um. Uh. Yes, we have just finished it, Valthia. Uh. So this guy's theory. Uh. Oh, this is. Oh, this is the written by the game who act, the guy who did the fifteen-minute YouTube video. Um. Right. Okay. So rec this guy reckons Dwayne was a scientist working for the CIA, uh, making M K MK Ultra. Uh. That that project. Um. Um. Uh, yeah, they did. They give ALSD to various people to experiment very, very unethically uh, in various instances. Um, yeah, so Lucy was the, the first person. We, we were, she's actually the first person in the house. Yeah. Um, then Dolores. Uh, then uh, Rakan. Uh, so this guy's saying that not that there was um that there was a secret lab it's just random coincidence that they targeted people who were living in this house and then Dwayne he says likely moved into the house as it was closer to work Okay, so you're a guy who works for the CIA and your job is to unethically uh, force people to take LSD to study them. We, uh, you know, so they don't even know about it. They've, they've had it. And you give it to this little girl who ends up killing her pet bird. And then basically she just dies eventually. Okay. Um, in the same house, you're like, oh, let's... Then you have the whole incidence with Dolores murdering her husband, killing herself, killing her baby. Then uh, Rakan moves in there and he's a paranoid schizophrenic. Give him some LSD. He ends up, we don't even know exactly what happened to him. And then the guy who was doing all this, Dwayne, goes, Oh, hey, let me move into that house. Fuck you, Dwayne. Yeah, exactly. He's, 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 uh, He's justified then. He was talking. He should have been saying, Fuck you, Dwayne, shouldn't he? Oh, 
Okay, and then he killed his family and himself because he felt guilty about what he'd done. And then he's trapped in purgatory. Yeah, we, we already worked out it was a ghost. That's pretty obvious from the start of the game. I think you're going to have to go and watch the video. Maybe I'll watch it tonight and then I'll give you guys the summary of what... Because there must be more to it than that. Thank you for the uh, lurk there, Root. Um, yeah, yeah, it seems... Yeah, that definitely explains why everyone seems to hate him. Like, Dolores is like Shank. <laughs> uh, knife finger demon, which... Is that supposed to represent uh, Lucy? Well, we see a ghost Lucy. I don't know if it's meant to represent it. So it's an imaginary friend, I guess. Her insidious friend. Yeah, this, this guy... Rec was like, hmm, maybe the entity, Lucy's friend, is a progenitor of it all. Yeah, but if so, I would imagine... I would have guessed there would be more references to that entity in the other chapters, which is not. Um. Yeah, but what what started it off? I don't know. Let's try this one. Oh, this looks like a decent explanation, maybe. Mo yeah, this is what I know about Visage, mostly with proof. He doesn't have any evidence to back it up. Oh, sorry, if it doesn't have any evidence to back it up, I will say so. So he's got some proof and then speculation. So let's see what we can make of this. Um... Yeah, you reckon it's a cop out, Red Mage? I will get to that in a second, Balthier. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could. I might have time to start today. I guess we could do. Um, right. So Lucy, the first character we see is Lucy, the young. Well, uh, that, that depends on what order you do the chapters. We just ha happen to randomly do them in chronological order. Uh, young girl is apparently being harassed and uh, manipulated, but what she believes is some kind of entity or demon, which is simply called a friend. Okay, agreed. A family moved in prior to 1961 in the house in Oregon, um, where all the supernatural stuff happens, indeed. She lived with her parents and their family pet, Pico. Got a spelling of the third one. Yeah, like half of these guys are just riddled with spelling errors, but, you know, just because you can't spell doesn't mean you, you're not smart. Um, some kind of bird. Yeah, okay, we're not. Um, um, yeah. The comment she was a bit strange. Uh, she decapitated Pico, saying it was her friend who did it. Um, uh, yes, we get clues that yeah, her uh, friend was communicating her through uh, the uh, TV and maybe radio. He often told her to do things, bad things, like kill Pico, which eventually led her parents to try and get her help from some doctors. Uh, she got on med meds. Um. It would have been, yeah, some kind of injection. We know that. Um, yeah, her, we saw that the cutscene of her mother being like, "I can't, how I can't believe we're doing this to her," and her dad being like, "We gotta do something." A worsened her condition. Um, um and this, yeah, worsened into the, the imaginary friend. So, so does it? Was she just literally having an imaginary friend, and she was slightly unstable, or is there, was there actually a ghost at the big, you know, some kind of entity there before all of this happened? Um, yeah, all, all of this led her to lock herself in the upstairs bathroom and rip her lower jaw off, bleeding to death. Where her parents were on the other side. I don't know that you I don't know that a human being can just actually just tear their own jaw off. I don't know if that's a thing. Anyway, 
Dolores. Um, George moved in the next year with her baby. Uh, Dolores just happened to be schizophrenic. Um, uh, yeah, she got to get medication and her mental issues worsened. Uh, George is supposed to take care of the baby alone. Doris eventually snapped and killed him. Stabbing him with seven different knives, which in itself is weird. Uh, let me go get another knife. Uh, seven times, you know, seven latest. <laughs> you, you stab someone seven times with a single knife. You don't... Unless you're, like, mutilating their corpse. I don't know. Anyway. Um... I think it maybe makes the game never stabbed anyone. No, neither have I. Just let that be known. Uh, <laughs> she then hung herself in front of the baby, leaving him as an orphan. I oh, said so the baby didn't die. I don't know if that's true. I think the baby died of uh, neglect. Um, Lewis Taylor. Oh, okay. Extra person here. Lewis moved in around 1965, three years after Dolores, alone. Interesting. Uh, not much is known about this character. I don't even know he is a thing. Uh, he worked as an operator at Riverdale's water treatment plant. He's encountered as the Goo Man and seen in all chapters. Not exactly, but... Uh, in Lucy's, he uh, appears behind Dwayne in an inverted arch position. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, right. So in the room is possibly the standing shadow in the upside down upside down living room. Maybe. And Dolores says he passed from right to left in a narrow concrete corridor. In uh Rakan's he uh points to a psychiatric ward, drugs Dwayne with an unknown syringe, and his footprints and gooish spots are seen on the floor, walls and ceiling everywhere. Yeah, indeed. He also goes out for Dwayne at some point later in the game. That was a guy called Lewis Taylor. I don't know if we even saw any reference to him. Apart from this key we picked up at the end, at the very end of the game. Uh, Rakan moved into the house in 1970 and he was also alone. So what happened to Lewis? How did he die? Well, no, no explanation. He developed uh, scopophobia. Yeah, yeah. A severe violent paranoia. Constantly saw eyes around his house. Yep. Yeah. Along with the apparition of Lewis. <laughs> uh got admitted to the hospital for psychological reasons when she jumped out of a window breaking both of his legs or injuring both of his legs after a couple of breakdowns he eventually came back to the house yeah only to be locked in the cellar by an unknown man and left for dead um yeah we're talking about horrible things squidge but we're we're not um we're not playing the game you don't see anything horrible now uh so who's Dwayne? Dwayne isn't an angel no in fact of course obviously um yeah, he worked at a facility named the Health Pharmacy since 1952, which makes him at least 51 years old. He murders his whole family in 1985, and that's pretty much all the concrete info on him. Uh, every From this point on, nothing else has hard evidence to back it up. This is this person's speculation. Every single person we encounter, except Lewis Taylor, had some kind of mental issues. They had to, they had to control the drugs, which didn't help them in the end, indeed. Rakan and Dolores even talked directly to Dwayne, saying his name. True. They seem to know him and what he's done, seemingly punishing him for something he did to them. If Dwayne started working in 1952, it's quite possible that he was the one engineering the drugs or prescribing them for all three characters. Okay. Uh, either he made an error or intentionally tampered with the drugs, worsening their symptoms. It's always possible that he was part of an agency making tests, the MK Ultra. Okay. Um, proving Rakam. Yeah, indeed. Uh, a theory like this is that he could have worked. Yeah. Uh, and worked at MK Ultra. Uh, it would make sense considering the nature of the experiment. It would mean that an organization like Health Pharmacy would have been a front. Um, yeah, like I said yesterday with Rakam, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. Yeah, um... Yeah, and then we got the cutscene with uh, his wife saying, uh, yeah, I'm only with you for the money. And, you, you know, it's probably blood money, but I don't care. 
which you know if you're involved in a project like that working for the you know dodge the do, you know the cia doing dodgy you're probably going to be quite wealthy you'll be paid off quite well um All right, is it possible that, yeah, trying to explain the, the final section there with the well in the water treatment plant, which apparently Lewis worked out. Um, is it possible that Dwayne poisoned people by putting drugs or into the, the actual water system? Uh, if so, Lewis probably caught him and threw him into the water, drowning him and explaining his slimy appearance. Uh... Yeah, he threw Lewis. He actually, all right, so he directly murdered Lewis. It's possible. That seems a bit weird and extreme. Keep in mind, all of this happened before Rakan moved in. Um, and Dwayne eventually started drinking and abusing drugs, neglecting his wife and kids. Uh, he started to feel guilty. So much so that he murdered his whole family and himself. Um... So he's, essentially the whole game is stuck in purgatory. So he never actually lived in that house. It's just that all the people he, you know, whose lives he, he ruined did. Like the plague doctor character is supposed to represent his guilt and remorse. Um, yeah, we already knew that he was, he was already dead. That was pretty obvious. Uh, ah, it even says Dwayne is probably the one who, uh, locked Rakan in the basement. I mean. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, Un this guy says unanswered questions, the importance of the number three, well, you know, we already know why you got the three, thirty three, uh, 33 is, uh, on all the clocks we already know that uh and presumably if any time there's a single digit they just add the extra three in there uh what's up with rose she's just gone on to simply own mental breakdown calling Dwayne after killing her husband not knowing he killed his family and himself who knows uh yeah the name johnny apparently is on the key to dolores's T. There's no explanation for that. Right, okay, so there does seem to, so I guess there's no the cup the makers of the game have not put out an official explanation. It's all speculation. And that, reading those bits there, there seems like there's something to it, but not necessarily. That explanation is that there's no supernatural thing going on at all. It, there's no there's no, there's no ghosts or anything. Apart from the fact that you, the character Dwayne, are a ghost. You are dead. But you're not wandering around a house. You're just, in, in rea real life, you're just trapped in purgatory. You're in your own personal hell, in essence. Uh, none of the other... There's no ghosts in that house. There's just a lot of pain and suffering. And potentially uh, evil involvement by Dwayne and the CIA drugging people for lols interesting interesting um the final fantasy 16 trailer looks amazing does it i'll have a little look in a minute if you share it in the uh conflux um yeah go for it ryan if you can make more sense of it 
It's just kind of, in a way, it's a shame. I, I don't know. I like, I kind of like the idea better that, I guess it does tie in why Dwayne himself would be. He does. He do, you do get the sense that they, um, the the ghosts are holding him personally responsible. Like it's your fault. You asshole. It's not. It's just, you're trapped in the house that I'm haunting. Therefore, haha. <laughs> screw you. Abby, you've not missed the whole stream. I've still got like an hour and 45 minutes for us to do something else with. Uh, but yes, we, com we just completed Visage. Interesting. Yeah, so to sum up the game, well, sorry, I'm sorry. good choice. Thank you, Ryan, for choosing it for us. Interesting game. I um, enjoyed it a lot. It's not perfect by any means. A um, couple of issues. Because because the when you first start you I had on Monday I had that extreme vibe of like oh my god it's so scary like panic and everything the more you play it the more you the um the the suspended disbelief the illusion of you're in a scary haunted house is broken and the more the fact you're just in a game and I think for me kind of like that kicked in and only built like halfway through Dolores's chapter which kind of takes the scariness out of it um unfortunately now i don't know whether it's just because it was a certain amount of time passed or whether it was just like the order of the chapters it's just like emily and the first half of dolores's chapters are scary and then everything else in the game is not scary i don't know who really i don't know the jump scares were pretty good, but I don't know. But anyway, how you doing? How you doing, Abby? Are you well? Um, hot tub stream. We we have no hot tub, uh, Scotty. Um, so that will not be happening. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, it's fantastic. You could argue it's the scariest game I've played, uh, Ryan. Because I'll, you know. Yeah, so, sorry, Scotty. No can do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, overall, very fun experience. I'm glad we played it. Um, let me stick this over here. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's only got an hour and a half, at least, guys. So he's, I, I feel like I'm shortchanging you if we didn't start our next game. Let me um, firstly go ahead and... Uh, so I'm off panels for a second. But yeah, Visage was excellent. Really enjoyed it. And if it's, you know, I'm not, uh, I'll play horror any time of the year. But I guess if this is, this is one time of the year to play it, it's, uh, it's the, uh, it's the spoopy month, isn't it? All right, let me pop that there. Right, so uh, we we've got two, I got two games that uh, currently have votes from our producers. Two games that have a single vote each. I do have producers. Two producers sat on votes. They are welcome to sit on them. They haven't said they want to put, throw anything out at the minute. So it's basically my choice. Um, I'm I'm excited to look at them both, but uh, both games I've played before. But um, one is on Game Pass. Now I do uh, stupidly. I have the um the three sixty version of this game, uh, but it's not actually out downstairs. It's packed away in a box somewhere up in the attic. So it would be a pain to get it out. So the plan was to just jump on Game Pass before that. Uh, but to extend the time, the other game I do have ready to go on three sixty. Um. So we're going to go with that one first. Uh, very definitely, most assuredly, not a spoopy game. It is, um, it is in fact, uh, chosen by our newest and latest uh, producer, Poots Cootie. He signed on as an assistant producer the other day. And I was like, Poots, God bless you. Thank you kindly, sir, you wonderful human being. Um, and he immediately looked at the games list and he was like, oh, I know what I want to vote for. I was like, okay. And he's like, he's like oh, I don't want to rock the boat, though. I don't want to like come in here as the new guy and decide what's going on i was like poops that's literally how the <laughs> that's how it works if anyone's got a problem with it i will slap the shizzle out of them 
Uh, and, as a, and as an assistant producer, you don't get to add games to the list. You just get to vote on what else is already there. Uh, so he used his one vote straight away on uh, South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now, I don't know if anyone here is familiar with that. Um, I, or if anyone knows, I am personally a massive South Park fan. While, while not every single South Park episode is great, there are a few duds throughout the years. If you take the entirety of South Park as one big thing, you can definitely make an argument it is the greatest uh, satirical comedy that's ever been created by huma the human race, ever. I would argue that. Uh, some people don't like South Park. That's that's good for them. They can enjoy. Um, I think it's great. Like I say, not every episode is perfect, but if you, I could pull out 15, 20 South Park episodes right now that are literally perfect, that are the epitome of humour. Um, so that's what we're going to play. Not spoopy at all. Uh, I don't, and I have I have played it before when it was released, um, and uh, I'm excited to get back at it again. It's um, anyone who doesn't know about it. Uh, in terms of game, it's uh, is literally it plays like a baby's first JRPG. It is um, very simplistic turn based combat with very simplistic. RPG leveling mechanics. Not really too much to it. Um, it's very, very easy. Tempting to maybe play it on hard difficulty just to make it a bit more of a challenge. But I think I'll just leave it on normal just to facilitate us getting through the game. The beauty of South Park, The Stick of Truth, is that it looks and feels like you are just in an episode of South Park. It it, it's, it's, it's kind of flawless in that regard abby of course uh seeing him back in a minute uh so i don't know if anybody here has played it or how they feel about it but um that is our next game um i don't know how long it'll take us to get through uh probably not that long overall i say i'm kind of excited about it because it's um it's been a little while the i played it when it's released i believe roughly and i haven't played it since when did it come out? I wonder. Let me see. Now, there is a, a sequel, the a Fractured But Whole. Uh, I have not played that. Um, that is superhero themed. Uh, whereas the Stick of Truth is fantasy themed. Um, 2014. Damn. What about March? Yeah, I must, that must have been when I first played it. God damn. So, yeah, it's literally been eight years since I've played this game. So, definitely worth uh, a giggle. A little, a little once over. Um, let's just give it a go. Yeah, do you like are you a fan, Slick Mick? Yeah, chosen by Poots. So, we're going to get right on it. Uh, I don't see any reason to hang around. Let me go and. Uh, change our uh like i say we've got an hour and a half of stream there's no reason to you know we can get we can start the game and get a little way into it can't we uh so it's not first playthrough or we'll leave no spoilers on casual playthrough for sure um how did i i get that tag on there Oh, I didn't. Silly me. Um. That'll do. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Sleep Mick. That's the way to do it. And it is genius. Uh, and uh, and if there's anybody who's of, of the, you know, of this regular viewership and you're like, oh, 
uh, I'm not. That's not really my kind of thing. Is that's fine. You you know you can dip out for a bit. Um, it's not a very long game, but it's uh substantial enough. It, as a, like I say, as a JRPG, it's not like there's there's no real side quests. There's not too much going on. It's cool that you're in the. You actually, I think this is like the first time you actually get the town. You can wander around the town of South Park. You're like, oh, you can see where everything is in relation to everything else. Um, but it's not like super bosses. There's not like secret dungeons that I remember. There's not like ultimate weapons to find or st other stuff to level up. Um, there is a super boss. Oh, okay. You remembering it better than I am, Sleep Make. I don't remember it at all. We shall see. Uh... Uh, hate gaming streaming. Uh, what, South Bank? Red Mage? Or the Super Boss? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't. We'd have to play a real shitty game for me to hate streaming. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not about that life. Um, yeah, have I got all that changed over there? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a one-minute break to go and pee, and then I will guess we'll jump into the game. Anyone has any questions, let me know, but I'll, uh, I'll be as quick as I can. We'll say we'll, we'll just oh, let's do the start of the game, like about an hour and a half into it, and then we'll get back on it tomorrow. Um, imagine it's like a... Maybe like a four-stream game? Guessing? We'll see. Um... Ah, fractured butthole. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good if you're fractured, but you're also whole. <laughs> A fractured butthole. <laughs> um, it's, it's gone, Red Mage. I know. I'm sorry. It's, it, it just worked a little bit better with the background stuff that Slick Mick did. If we go with the new, the old stuff. It's just this way it is. Um, exactly. Exactly, Slick Mick. So I'll be back in a minute, a second, guys.
not gone forever, Ed Mage. I can uh, I can use them whenever I like. Um, and where would be the best place to put my stupid face? Uh, this cam though, every time. I'll stick my. I'm gonna stick myself up in the top for a bit. Might be less in the way there. Oh, there is a super boss. I wonder if I found it. I wonder if I've, I did on achievements this game. I was, I was well into achievement hunting when this game came out. Okay, I, I've thousand G'd it. So if there is a super boss, I must have fought it previously. Um. I mean, I don't know about that, Scotty. What's uh, what's your opinion, Scotty, of uh? Of uh, South Park. Oh, I don't know anything to worry about the options, maybe. No, that's what it... Oh, I can even put it on casual. Oh. Okay, I think we need to worry about that. What, new game then? Don't find it funny. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, All yeah, right, that's, that's fine. Deep in the lands of Zaran, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Oh, God. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. Yep. Oh, the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf <laughs> armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the Stick, controls the universe. We go. We 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 play as the new kid, and we um gotta gotta get the stick of truth. Um, I don't know. Uh, it really matters. Guess some, guess something vaguely looking like me. I guess we're a random hoodie. That works, right? Basically innocuous. Oh, black eye. <laughs> Punch in the face. <laughs> I'm good to go. That's good enough for me. Okay, looks smart. It's exactly how it sounds like. <laughs> Which makes sense, obviously. It's not. There's a lot of time and effort goes into South Park, but the graphics are. It's fairly simply put together, isn't it? I love how everyone. Well, as they walk, well, they just have like everything. one leg they bounce along on. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? I guess it's our parents. It's my mom and dad here. They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hon, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? 
He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember uh, at all. That's good. That's good. He doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, <laughs> we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Okay. Hi, get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. I wonder what happened. I can't remember. Counter, Just oh. be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right, here we go. Look, he's exactly just like the. Uh... All right, that's our quest. Find some kids to play with. Oh, we've got uh, toys. All right, put the items in storage. You don't want to carry them or sell them. Um, we don't have any items at the minute. Okay, we can save, load options, main menu. No, that's like. Okay, there we go. Level one, no XP. We've got four dollars thirty-four. That's our hit point bar. What else? Oh, extra punch. I guess we can't look at any of our stuff. <laughs> I love there's a mouse hole <laughs> in the wall there. Oh, what have I found? Oh, some cash. 50 cent. And a uh, baseball card worth 10. Oh, I'll collect those though. I don't know. Okay. Ter Terrence and Philip backpack. Perfect. That's our pet goldfish. <laughs> Right, that seems to be it. Uh, I guess we're heading out. That's our bedroom. It's, uh, Mum and Dad's bedroom is locked, maybe. There's the bathroom. Okay, I'm just picking up random junk here. Uh, how do we look at our inventory? Oh, there we go. Oh, what did I press there? Okay, right on the D-pad. How random. Um, never mind. Okay, that's a quest log. Go outside and find some kids to make friends with. My inventory. Junk. Yeah, so I guess that's just for, they're just for sale. Consumables. Uh, okay, that's your. Uh, I think they're just cosmetics, makeup, glasses, um, facial hair. Okay, then that's your actual armor. You've got head, body, and hand armor. And then you've got your weapons, melee, and ranged. Oh. Okay. Inventory quests. I was trying to look at the... Um... It'll probably tell me in a minute, anyway. Oh dear. Yeah. Had to poop. Um, well, she's under five dollars selling your body. I mean, if it if it comes to it, are you gonna we're gonna flush that toilet there, bro? No, it's gonna leave it. Oh, I can just stand in the shower. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, there we go. That's uh, the bathroom. Not much to it. No, it doesn't need to be. All right, sit downstairs. Oh, random crap. Money. Um, I think, uh, any containers, they'll have, like, that yellow gold handle on them. Like, health potion. Cheesy poofs. That's a health potion there. Sea Star. What did you just come back to? <laughs> Are you a fan of, uh, South Park at all, uh, Sea Star? That is the question. Alright, uh, Black Eye. Is that a cosmetic? We do anything with that. Um. Must be... Punch him, mom. It wasn't a request, it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. Dad, you're like an asshole. 
My dad's an actual asshole. Will you go out and be a kid for Christ's sake? I was trying to rob the family house. Okay, we're giving a quest. Yeah. Bring up the uh, quest. Though. It's going to tell us as we go along. That's cool. Now, there are collectibles and stuff in this game. I think, but I think that's something right there. But, uh... I'll punch the snow. But, uh, well, I'm not too worried about us trying to 100%. Uh, no humans, eh? Can't break it. Uh, this game, I'm sure I've done it before. I just, uh, I just want the fun of, uh, just going through it. You love South Park. That's because you have excellent taste, Sea Star. Uh, <laughs> oh, we just came out as we were pooping. Yeah. Not, uh, not, not the best time in there. Right, anything in that garage? Oh, right, yeah. See, I've got some cosmetics there. Oh, that's the map. There we go. Look, we actually get a map of of South Park, which is pretty wild. All right, so that's uh. Our house there. Okay, yes, this is our house. This is Butter's house. We live next door to Butter's. That's pretty cool. Cartman's house, the next one down. Stan's house, the next one down from there. And Carl's house. That's <laughs> so we live on the road with, with the kids. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, can you zoom in a bit? Oh, you can. Oh, cool. Excellent. Let's do that then. Right, Kenny's house across the uh, on the other side of the tracks. Obviously. Looking pretty, pretty shitty. Um, let's have a look. What we got here? Uh, that's not only one's house. That's Mr. Slave's house there. That's the park. That's cool. Tweak Bros a Coffee. That's uh, obviously Tweak's parents. You store it. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Look, that's a. The farm, random farm, not not Tegrity, not Tegrity Farms. That's uh, that's a bit after this game. Uh, Bio Theater. Uh, Tokens House. Uh, that is uh, Tolkien's house, not Token. Tolkien's house. Uh, Photo Dojo. Unplanned Parenthood. <laughs> Uh, the bank. Tom's rhinoplasty. Off random office building. What's these houses here? Anything? Uh, the bus stop. Jimmy's house. Clyde's house. Craig's house. Kevin Stoley's house. Uh, community center, school, yep. Stark's Pond, church, police station, city hall, uh, the mall, uh, Tower of Peace. Uh, sh <laughs> share sushi. Uh, yeah. Share walk. Um, who doesn't like shitty walk? Uh, Jimbo's guns. Mosquitoes bar. Okay, cool. That seems to be the town of South Park, as it uh, exists within this game, at least. I guess it's going to tell us about inventory in a little bit. Butters is arguably the best. I mean, to be fair, to, to me, the overall, my overall favourite character in the whole of South Park has to be Randy. But yeah, Butters is great. I, it's hard not to like Butters. He can be. Yeah. 
Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. Oh, Thanks, I'll punch you. How do you realize he had a health potion? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want to be friends with Butters? Um, you just made your first friend in South Park. Messages from your friends will show up here on your homepage. See all of your friends you've made. Uh, use left trigger or right trigger to move the collectibles tab. Excellent. Hey, everybody. There's a new kid playing with us, and me and him are friends. That way, nobody picks on him. <laughs> hey, Akuma. How you doing, bro? Um, yeah. L yes, lifelong dream. Yeah, you know it. You know it, Sea Star. Uh, cool. Excellent. Um, I just want to, uh, get the cosmetics. I guess we just, we'll just wear any old crazy stuff we, uh, come across. Just because it's like, why not? I don't, you know, actually, I don't know if you can, can, you can sell them, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, collectibles. Okay, yeah. So you got your friends, which I guess is kind of like Facebook or something. Uh, Chin Pokemon. <laughs> That's a good episode. <laughs> um, random equipment. If you keep track of it, every item in the game, I guess. Uh, and quest collection. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. Oh. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Okay, cool. Now where's Buzz? But first, I see a chim Pokemon up in that tree. I guess we have to come back for later. Hey, where are you from? I don't you speak. Here? Oh, sorry, Buzz. I don't speak, buddy. Did I call oh, hold B to run. Okay. Cool. Why are you wearing your hair like that? <laughs> It's just a wig. It's just a wig I found. Oh, hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. <laughs> I am the Wizard King. <laughs> but the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Please do, Wizard King. How are you doing today, Kuma? Are you well? You're a South Park fan, I can only assume. Shut up, Mom. Not now. <laughs> oh, I just turned his TV off. Sorry, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Oh, Cartman's garage key. Evil Cartman goatee. Uh, a Cartman game sphere. I'm oh, stealing all that. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Ah! <laughs> Uh, that chicken there seems to have some uh, human breasts on it. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen <laughs> by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. <laughs> And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kenny. <laughs> Princess Kenny. Uh, Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick. It's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> Looking good, Kenny. Right, well, okay. Let's have a look around the kingdom. I have some ah, training dummies. The training area where our massive army learns to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Um The wizard stump. Perhaps one day I will some say he who discovers the secret of the wizard stump is the master of his own destiny. I figured the wizard stump. Yes. Perhaps one day I will wizard show stump. you what it does. Yeah, maybe. Um <clears throat> Um you got you don't got yourself muted. A okay, camera. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. Okay, cool. We got Clyde as a friend. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Oh, uh, is it? <laughs> hey, where the hell are you going? I'm just, uh, the Rock of Insanity. Be careful. The Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Okay. Pool of Vision. 
It's hilarious. Oh, daffodil quest item. Oh. Give it to uh, Princess Kenny. Yeah, we'll do that. as incurable as my diabetes <laughs> excellent i'm uh i'm pleased to hear that oh that's my uh, i thought i made friends with this with uh scott and clyde anyway kenny <laughs> There you go. Gave a flower to uh, Kenny there. Nice. Uh, how do how do I accept their friend request? Oh, there you go. Go to home. Excellent. Cool. Four friends. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that. Oh, did we get? Oh, we got a uh, evil Cartman go to. Excellent. My job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. <laughs> deliver his mail. I see. I, I know see. it is a massive kingdom, but you'll learn to find your way around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a massive kingdom, is it? Hold on. Let me just uh, get this boy. Yeah. Get out of here. Um. <clears throat> Oh, you personally, Akuma. So you can hear all sound on your PC, but you can't hear anything coming through on Discord. Have you um, have you uh, just checked the settings in Discord? Sometimes it like disconnect your uh, your headset and stuff like that. Um, I've noticed. I'll just do a little save. Uh, I probably want to. Yeah, look at this. Twenty fourteen. Last time I played this. I just want to. Delete all these, I expect. Oh, I've got so many save files. Let me just whip through these. Sorry, I should have done this before I start. I started the game up. Yeah, so I've got save files here, like 13 hours. That's not too much is it you reinstalled it um i don't know Kim. have you have you, have you done like you googled it up just to see uh if anyone else had similar issues oh my god yes yeah, soon i'm sure there we go There we go. No more save files. Apart from the one we're using. There we go. Alright. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you. And in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for <laughs> your first quest. But first, please tell us thy name. Uh, well, I mean... I guess we give him uh, more name. When I spell it right. You entered douchebag, is that correct? No. Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? <laughs> no. Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. Oh, Jew. <laughs> I have no mage, idea what, white fighter. what I chose this one. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. Yeah. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. <laughs> Cartman. Oh my god. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Oh. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. <laughs> um, I'm not sure 
what I've gone with previously. Uh, you reckon I should go mage? Uh, Tina. How you doing there, Tina? Yeah, it's... <laughs> I've played it before, Tina. We just started, but it's... um. As you can see. But uh, it was like eight years ago I last played it when it was released. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's like it's cell phone, is it? Uh, so you, I don't remember what I would have played eight years ago. Should we... Uh, like a wizard, only not do you want to go mage? You want to go red mage? Uh, mage? Red mage? Go that. Go red mage if you like. Um, let's give it a go. We welcome to our kingdom... Douchebag the mage. Douchebag the mage. <laughs> now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Uh, Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps yes. you would like to hear tips and rumors for $2? Um, maybe. Let's see what you got for sale first, Clyde. Oh, consumables. So, yeah, small health potion is a dollar. Uh, oh, they're all locked, though. Yeah, large health potion. Right, so that's 40% of your points. Right, and five times the price with only 20% increase. So you're better off... Um... Don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. Ah! It's, it doesn't bother me at all, Cartman. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so cure potion, that's your Asuna potion. Your remedy. Uh, bottle of soda re reduces... Te uh, it restores 10 PP. So I guess it's your power points. Special points. Uh, revival potion, Phoenix down. Speed potion, nice. T <laughs> Tweak bros coffee. Let's you attack again. <laughs> nice. Uh, strength potion. Uh, water balloon. Move. Ah, uh, okay. So um, that's a uh, dispel. Okay. Cool. Right, weapons. Right, magic wand. I guess is what they want. <clears throat> less damage this is a twig <laughs> uh jewish staff my god so yeah it's various levels i guess we need to get the uh the magic wand don't we ah a lovely purchase <laughs> uh random equipment okay can't get any of that uh flare that's just a uh, cosmetic sort of machine weapon strap-ons uh can't they're not they're locked there we go right left on the d-pad for inventory there you go got a magic wand which is literally a stick of course oh did i um i'll give him basic armor right yeah major's headbands um max uh plus one pp uh fire damage increased by 10 percent with the robe and the ring minus five percent damage when blocking okay i think it's like if i recall correctly it's very similar to uh um mario rpg where you've got like if you press a button as you're attacking and defending you get a bonus for it um um You have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now yes. time to teach you how to fight. Yes. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king <laughs> wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid. Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, no it's not. It's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. <laughs> I know it's late, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. <laughs> All right, douchebag. Bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. <laughs> Bash his face in. <laughs> right, he's, he's blocking it at the minute. Right, there we go. So, uh, yes, left stick. Select your action. I thought they, they would be in a circle there. Uh, Come on, fight. We've got a magic wand at the minute. All right, when you see a flash, press A. Ah. Okay. Uh. Too late on the. Yeah. That all you got? Oh my god, it's butters all over again. Okay, uh, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Uh, ah. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. 
Oh, okay, and press X uh, for power attack. Okay. All right. Well, if you want to do one strong attack rather than a combo. Nice, bro. Exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the boss. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your boss. Take your rules. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Oh, I missed. No, no, I said protect. Protect your boss. <laughs> protect your boss. <laughs> Suck it. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. <laughs> I thought it was a level 12 warrior. We're only level 1. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, so blocking the reduces some damage, though not all of it. Alright, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde! <laughs> I'm the king and I say it's PP! <laughs> Douchebag, use your mage ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Certainly. Abilities. Dragon's Breath, 6 PP. Rush your target, the Barrage of Flame. Inflicts burning status on a perfect success. I right, got a mash eye, have you? Sick. Okay, cool. We don't want that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. This does double damage. Yeah. I blocked it, I tried. What about that? I think I just a bit overkill, but I don't cry. Cut. Oh, he's all cut up and bruised eye. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. You were all like, "Bean!" And Clyde was all like, "Nah, nah." <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You prove yourself worthy, Jack. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is hilarious uh right okay let me uh just check my stuff there got a message from butters um like if you think i'm the fairest maiden in all the land yeah totally uh, seriously princess kenny you don't have to keep posting this uh i would like it it's not letting me like it i'm sorry princess kenny um Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought, Princess Kenny. <laughs> well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. A stick. A stick <laughs> <of truth. laughs> Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long. For its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss uh. your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week, four dollars of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna defend the stick of truth. Can we I guess yeah, we better not touch it, I guess this order. Douchebag, come help us! Yeah, I'm just Having a look at, uh... Okay, that's a little plan there to go somewhere. The looks of it. It's got a bucket of chicken. <laughs> An empty bucket of chicken, though. <laughs> oh my god, what's she like? What you like? you like, Cartman? Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, human! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! <laughs> Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye. Aye, aye. We're not playing pirates, Clyde. Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs. This gonna fuck you up. Oh, heck. Hey, Butters. Butters, you're losing. Oh, Stop losing. losing. But, but I don't want to make him think. <laughs> Do it, douchebag. Kick these elves' asses. All right, looks like it. That's what I'm gonna do. You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you here. Give some cheese puffs. <laughs> oh, it's making us use it right away. Okay. Tutorial still. Nom nom nom. 
yeah, each turn you can use one item and still attack. That's pretty cool. But once you attack, your turn is over. Just use your item Bruce first. Said you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Yeah. Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Come on, get it right. <laughs> Sorry, uh, no worries. No worries, uh, Red Mage. I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Oops. I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Sorry, I'm not got the timing down quite yet. I said block, not get nailed <clears> by. <throat> Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Yes, Cartman. In your face. Ah! Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter attack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Lol. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. Right, yeah. It's all the timing down on it. Right, well, okay. I feel like I should use our fire on this guy at the back here. Oh, yeah. O overkill. Damn. Crazy damage. This is obviously just still the tutorial. Oh wow, look at this guy here, he's beating up the cat. How about that, bro? Hitting the cat. I'm not, I'm not down with that. You got this, douchebag. Take this. Oh, reposting. Okay. Asshole. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. Oh, it's teaching us still, isn't it? Enemies in the repost stance can uh, counter melee uh, weapon attacks. Use arrows or abilities against them. Try a different tactic to damage him. No. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. <laughs> to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Oh, bow of sucking. <laughs> Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. <laughs> Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Enemies in the reflect stance can count arranged weapon attacks. Use abilities or melee attacks against them. Okay. It's like a little, little fire. <laughs> All right, so re re repost, don't use melee. Reflect, don't use uh, ranged. Okay. But I was just <laughs> stood there doing nothing. <laughs> just getting beat. Let's do this, douchebag. No, he's reposting. Shielded. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Oh, okay. Shields block completely block a number of hits using normal attacks or abilities to deal a lot of hits against them. Okay. Nice try, uh, Hell yeah, that's uh. how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Arm reduces damage from each hit. Use power attacks or abilities that deal a single large hit against armor. Okay. Oh, it's on. That's it. Now finish him. I've got to remember to, once you pull off a perfect block, to, uh... Ah. Ah. Get a timing on, uh... On the, uh, your counter-attack.
All right, bleed debuff. Hit that multiple times on the same target. Okay. Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? It's the truth. The elves got it. Ow! Commentator? Who oh, are there, Tater? How you doing, buddy? Welcome in, folks. Uh, yeah, yeah, indeed, Tina. I had one job. How's it going? Let me get a little shout out there, buddy. Hey, Squidges on it. Oh, Dead Cells. Very interesting. I did play a little bit of that. I kind of sucked at it. I like the idea of it, though. I'm just, I was not very good at it. But welcome in, Tater. Uh, Rage Rage today. Now, if it's your first time playing it, or are you very familiar with it? Yeah, welcome in, folks. Um, how you doing, Tater? Are you looking after yourself? Uh, but yes, let me I'll do briefly introduce myself. My name is Isnib. You can call me Is. Everybody does. Uh, we do everything here frequently. We have <laughs> today. We have just completed a visage, which is a kind of very scary walking simulator horror game. Uh, worth checking out, I feel, if you do like horror. Um, and we just started uh, the South Park: The Stick of Truth. I don't know how very two very 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 different uh, propositions there. But uh, I don't know how you feel about any of those. Um, you played for three weeks. Ah. So um, I found it. Tr I found it tricky, Tater. I because uh, obviously it's the, the the idea is you die, but I felt like I was just doing the same thing over and over again, not getting any progress. That's my uh, only problem with that. You love the stick of truth, of course you do, Tater, because you've got excellent taste. Now I will say, have you have you played um a fractured butt hole? I have not, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I, I do love the stick of truth. Uh, which I just noticed earlier. It's been eight years since I've played it. Time be flying. But yeah, welcome in, folks. You got any questions for me? You just uh, yeah. Apparently, the scariest game of all time. It it was to start with Squidge, but then halfway through it, kind of the scariness like kind of wore off a little bit for me. Um. Oh, it's not as good in your opinion, Taya. Interesting, interesting. But anyway. Yeah, let's uh, let's continue on with. Yeah, we, we're still uh, we're almost at the end of the day's stream. It's got like about forty five minutes, but um, yeah, as long as you're well, Tayo, thank you for the ride. That was your you. one goddamn job, Clyde, to guard the stick of fucking truth. Uh... Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time. What? <laughs> no, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go home, Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, this new kid may be a douchebag, but he sure can fight. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. <laughs> Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go and send my warriors here. <laughs> Might as <well> go with him. <laughs> uh, Zaf, hey dude, welcome in, friend. Uh, is it? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not against. Uh, you know, I like quite like the Souls games. I'm not massively good, very good at them, but I, I can embrace like the the dyingness. It just. Maybe I need to go back and look at Dead Cells, but it kind of felt like you'd go, you'd go through a level, then you got another section, then you got another section, you keep going, and then you suddenly die because you were careless or, you, you know, whatever. And then it feels like you've just been put right back at the beginning. And I think you, like, slowly, like, carry... Some things carry over, like so your weapons, or you, you slowly level up, or something carried over. But whatever was being retained... I felt at the way that I was dying, I was like, well, at this at this rate, it's going to take like 10,000 years to complete this game. So I was like, okay, I am i don't have the skills to progress in this properly, so we're just going to leave it as is. Um, <clears throat> Zarf, wow. So, yeah. So, 1,660 runs. That's like... Uh, so basically your time you've died so how far do you have to go to get a win and what do you carry over i don't know it seemed interesting though i respect you for uh digging into it like that um right now wrong button there we go 
We've got an upgrade, apparently, or something. Um, let's have a look. Are we doing... Uh, okay, so we've got a few potions and stuff. We're doing all like that. So junk, I think you just sell. I like the Okama Game Sphere is junk. All right, abilities. Ah, here we go. Available for upgrade. All right, so you can buy Dust of Dreams. Distract your foes with magical sleeping powder. I don't think I... I don't know what I played... I might have played, just played a warrior uh, when I played previously. I don't think I... Definitely, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I did not play as a wizard, though. A mage. Um, <clears throat> right. Uh, if successfully performed, leaves your target stunned. Um, interesting. Or we can... Uh... Oh, do I not have the dragon's breath? I have to... Are we just getting the, the second level? Oh, so I do have the dust of dreams. I just get to choose which one I want to take to level two. Um, I mean, the direct damage of Dragon's Breath it seems like it might be more useful, potentially. At least early on. There we go, level two Dragon's Breath. Excellent. Ah, some abilities, perks. Ah, you need to you get new friends to unlock perks. Okay. And magic, which I would have thought would be your abilities but for a mage, but I guess maybe not. Right, so call the banners. I've got to look for Craig, Token, and Tweak, and tell them that they are needed. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, there's the letters. And we've got the, uh, the key to Cartman's garage. Uh, party members. Unknown. I think Butters said he's coming with us. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Side juice. Yeah, that's uh, that's what it sounds like. Um, uh, Alvis, time miracle. Welcome in. Um, okay. A win run takes around 40 to 60 minutes. Well, I don't know what I was doing. I was just sucking at the game real, real badly. Um Right, so the more you so the more you complete, the harder the game gets. It seems real tough to me. I got a new quest from the the Timmy Express. Right, uh, Timmy Express is in delivery service, maybe. Uh, fast travel flag, one out of twelve. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Scott. Let's see, Clyde's helmet. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if it, if you restrict. I think it's, you just restricted by level. That's three armor, reducing enemy attacks. Seems like a good idea. There's no. Uh, is there not any restriction on who can use what? You'd think that would be. It. Certain characters, certain the cl different classes can use different attacks. I don't know. I guess we'll stick with our wizardy stuff. All right, so for five dollars, I can get a, a lightning wand. So I guess we should probably do that. Good choice. Good choice indeed. Got. Got good oh yeah, it's probably gonna sell all our junk, die. Yeah. I don't think there's any reason to keep any of that. Here's what we're selling today. Equipment patches. Okay. And I, th I think we could probably get away with that one in the consumables. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, let me try buying the Clyde's helmet. A nice see if I can, uh, see if I can, uh, in fact, equip it. Okay, let's get our wand there. Yeah, numbing strike. And a perfect attack weakens uh, the target's uh, attack power. And slightly more damage as well. I can do that to three, com three hit combo as well. Nice. Okay. Um, so we can. So uh, the question is, do you uh, want, yeah, add three armor or one PP extra? I guess three armor is 
better, right? Okay, I just wasn't sure if a wizard could uh, necessarily use it, but let's go. Um, yo, Buck, how you doing, Buck? Are you well? Uh, no, yeah, it's, <laughs> I didn't realise that like, someone did mention it, but I was like, oh, is he? Is he really? What is he asleep? Yeah, I was like, Buck, fair enough. I just wanted to show you some love, sir. Unfortunately, because you were asleep, I couldn't. You know, you were unaware of it. <laughs> but that's not the point. But how you doing, Buck? Are you well, buddy? Are you looking after yourself? Okay, I wasn't wanting to go outside. I was actually just trying to speak to Butters there. But, uh, Buck, I'll bet, Buck, you are a gentleman who appreciates South Park, I'm sure. Or a speed potion. Okay, I'll take that. Speak to Cartman's mum. You kids be careful now. Oh, we got, cool, we got a new friend request. Cartman's mum. I mean, Cartman might hate her, but... Um... Oh, I'm friends for... Am I... Oh, did Clyde unfriend us? I'm not even friends with Cartman yet. It always, Cartman's probably like, eh, where? You, you know, he's just like, you're my minion, not my not my friend. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's check out Cartman's house. This is the king's room. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. What yeah. exactly are you looking for? I'm stealing all of his stuff, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, faith plus one cd <laughs> excellent <laughs> yes buck it is isn't it have you pl have you played uh the fractured butt hole at all i've not uh i've yet to play that okay look at all this stuff <laughs> It's faith plus one uh, <laughs> uh, disc there. It's coon outfit. It's beefcake outfit. It's uh, awesome outfit. <laughs> and the rest of it. I love that. The attention to detail. Wow, Eric has a lot of cool stuff. Indeed. Indeed he does. He's, he's, been, he's done a lot of cool stuff. He might be a complete asshole, but he has done a lot of cool stuff. Oh, wow. What's this? What's this, Mrs. Cartman? Yeah, Purple Passion, eh? Uh, the Black Thumper. And the, uh, the Jack Rabbit. Um, quite a selection you've got there, my dear. Uh, I guess we'll take all of those. Underpants. Quest time. New message from Butters. Why are you sending me a, a message, Butters? I'm right here. Um... Uh, you got work tonight, have you, Buck? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're sleeping all day. But anyway, yeah, I'll just... I'll tell you what it was, is, Buck. I, um... I, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of people I just... By the time I finish my stream, and I'm then doing, like, you know, my evening things, you know, I, I never get to see their stream, so I just saw you streaming, and I was like, oh, there's Buck! And then we raided in, I was like, oh, wait, Buck's asleep. He's not, <laughs> he's not actually here. But, you know, thought that counts, sir. Just know that I'm thinking of you. Um... Right, so, uh... Yeah, Butters is a paladin. Yeah, we know this. This is we'll look at his abilities when we get into combat. How are you doing slight? Are you well? Uh I'm supposed to know most of my allowance since this is one of the rules that's one of the rules of being a paladin. Alright, oh, I see. Anyone else supposed to give it to you? Your king demands his tithe paladin. Come talk to me. God. Cartman, such an asshole. I guess, uh, nice uh jar of loop there. Crack pipe. Wow, Mrs. Carmen hit the crack pipe and also uh this is a pile of cocaine there and a bong. As long as you're uh, enjoying yourself, Mrs. Carmen. That's that's all that really matters. Uh yeah, crack, another crack pipe. Um Ah, Antonio Banderas, Love Doll. Okay. Ah, uh, the milkman, another another one. I've taken all of them. She's gonna be like, where is um 
This is where the magic happens. Last week, Cartman's mom was here with a few men having a whole lot of magic. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. Uh, <laughs> hand magic and butt magic. Oh my god. You know all that magic, don't you, Stoy? Um. Yeah, it's what it is. Like, it was, was, oh, look at that. Young Buck. This is where Karma does magic. Ooh, smells like the wizard is brewing some potion in here. Some wizards. We must get back to the quest at hand, my lord. Uh, no. No, we're still, we're still hunting around, Buzz. We're just stealing things. Oh, pubes. Yeah. <laughs> pubes. Uh, I don't know that I need to poop in the uh, cartman's uh, toilet. Okay, what, what are we doing with dye? And is, how important is it? Oh, okay, we've got double chin, but we can't, uh, you can't really see the double chin with uh, our goatee. I don't know, we can probably sell these. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, find the item you want to die. Die options, press Y. Let's find. Okay. Right. No, I don't think it really matters. I don't know if I haven't used these previously. But, um... My Eric certainly has a lot of little playmates. He's such a friendly boy. You've got a lot of little playmates which we stolen out of your drawers as well. Anyway. We aren't allowed to go into the street. When it's such an open world, our parents don't want us getting hurt. <laughs> um, that's uh, still Cartman's stuff. The wizard beard. Oh, excellent. That's... Legend has it that he who can collect enough will be rewarded. Okay, that's the first chim Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, fuck you, new kid. Things are fine until you showed up. I'll get you back for this, I swear. Oh dear. I'm not trying to uh, cause any grief. There we go, we've got the wizard beard. That's what we want. Right, so we've got to go to Craig's house. Uh, Cla Tweak, uh, coffee uh, place, and uh, token. Uh, is, is a bigger house. Um, right, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Get the little exclamation mark there. All right, so that's token. That's uh, Tweak. That's Craig. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what order we go to. Oh, dear. There's rats for having a... There's a bit of damage. <clears throat> the Wizard King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans. <laughs> but Paladin Butters <laughs> lets me be his squire on the sly. Paladins seek justice for all races. If you Even gingers. Reshoot, let me know. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, I got into your house, Buzz. That's what we're going to steal in your house. Oh, dear. Well, we've only got half an hour of today's stream, but we've, we've already made a, a start on this. Butters really is a very sweet boy. I hope you'll treat him as you would a normal child. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, this must be the new kid. We're playing, Dad. Good for you. You Facebook me right away if Butters does something he should be grounded for. <laughs> Seven friends. We've unlocked a perk. Excellent. Right, abilities, perks. Right, okay. Uh, we'll, can we choose any? 
Uh, buy a perk. The count in the upper right of the tab tells you how many friends you need before you can... Yeah. Need another five. Okay, so what are the options? Protect my balls. Excellent. Uh, decrease damage from crits. Come on the taunt. Inflicts an extra damage against and taking less damage from pissed off enemies. Okay. Uh, range attacks do more damage. Uh, inflict additional damage to and take less damage from burning enemies. Uh, could help with our pyromaniac. Um, inflict additional damage and take less damage from bleeding enemies. Uh, uh, your attacks do increase damage when you are critically injured. Mm. Uh, using a potion now gives your attack up in addition to the potion's usual effects. Cool. Uh, maximum health increased by 20%. I mean, that doesn't seem like a terrible idea to start with. Uh, debuffs applied to you last one turn less than normal. Your first attack each combat uh, deals extra damage. That's pretty cool. It's just, yeah, one attack bonus damage, isn't it? Uh, you gain 2 PP when you use a healing item. That's cool. Uh, inflict additional damage against and take less damage from gro uh, enemies who are suffering from grossed out. Uh, reviving potions used on you, uh, on you or on your buddy now revive the recipient with full health. Okay, that's cool. Maximum PP is increased by 20%. Cool. Uh, melee weapon attacks do extra damage. That's pretty good. Uh, inflicts more damage to stun targets. So there's a lot to choose from there. Uh, welcome back, Root. Uh, uh, did you not know? Did you not know about this? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, f so, to start, I don't think it matters too much. To start with, I'm going to go for the 20% increase to the PP. Uh, because as we are a mage, it makes sense. It, it won't be much, so it'll be like 2.6 at the minute. But obviously, as, as we level up, We'll get great and greater benefit of that. Um, so we'll do that to start with. In fact, immediately refresh. So there's only two, but there we go. Uh, you're not really the South Park demographic. Oh, fair enough, Fruit. Never mind. Uh, I certainly am. Uh, does, does South Park have a demographic? I don't know that it does, but I, th I feel it's for everybody, but I don't know. I guess people are not into it. Um... Let's see what else we got. Uh, pubes again. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, I can't try remember the uh, name of the character. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I went. I went to spoil the episode. If you've not seen it, it's pretty good. Uh, right, more random crap. Oh, I just, just destroying uh, Butler's groceries there. Welcome to my room. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> um, <clears throat> fair enough. Fair enough, Root. Uh, yeah, it's been talking about maximum PP. Yeah, no, that's they clearly clearly done that on purpose. Um, right, random crap. What have you got in your cupboard? Buzz. Oh, nicely tidied up there, buddy. Bit of a difference between uh, Buzz's uh, cupboard and uh, his, uh, his Professor Chaos outfit there. Oh, oh my god. I'm wrecking this stuff. Those are my minions. They help me punish society. Bless. Oh, the chaos lair key. Okay, is that his... I wonder if that's his, uh... His garage? Probably is, isn't it? Hey, another... Oh, come on! Um... I don't know what we get for collecting them all. And I'm not going to necessarily go out my way to try and get them all, but... There we go. Monkey. And Penguin. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, uh, there's not too many of them. But, yeah, we'll, I think, yeah, we're bound to miss one, aren't we?
<laughs> yeah, day of the day. Yes, indeed. All right, random crap. Go into parents' room. Oh, well, that's the actual garage key there. Okay, interesting. Just wreck the place. All right, and there's probably nothing in his bathroom. There might be some random crap. No, oh, I'm wrecking everything. It's very unnecessary. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm doing it. It's just because the game uh, allows you to do it. So I'm just like... Okay, I need to turn the TV off and the Right, okay, moving on. Uh, oh no, can uh Get into his garage here. Yeah. Alright, level four druid gloves. <laughs> it's like a little it's like a little little bear on it. Uh Cool. Obviously, we can't wear those at the minute. So, where's your base then? Uh, the buzz. Interesting. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. If you see an object in the world with glint on it, you can shoot with your range with your shoot tool. Activate. Hold. Left trigger. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's wreck the snowman. God, it's so violent and it's all very unnecessary. Okay, there's nothing up there. We don't need to worry about that. Um... There we go. Can, can get that bag of not very much. Some potions. There we go. Hey, <laughs> doing, Timmy? You all right? Okay. The fast travel points. There we go. We don't actually need you to take us anywhere, though, Timmy. That's the that's the thing. We're all right on foot at the minute. Yeah! Oh! Some drow elves here ambushing us out of a snowman. These lands hold many dangers, new kid. Yeah, you moved to the wrong realm. Nice hair, douchebag. Suck my balls. No. Oh. Myself an attack up there. Let's see what we can do about that. Oh, armor up for that guy. You're hurt. This looks like a job for Paladin Butter. <laughs> All right, healing touch, eh? There you go, pal. Huh, that beat. I better wait a turn before I do any more healing. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> On your buddy's turn, you can use an item or his quick action and then attack. Attacking ends his turn, so use the item or attack. Yeah, quick action first. Yeah, we got that. Um, so, yeah. so he, All right, so he's got a heal. This is quick action. We can only use it every other turn. I'm just seeing what he's got. All right. Um, all right, so for 7 PP, Hammer of Justice. Hurls his hammer at a single melee target, making them pissed off. Great against armor. Uh, but it smites all enemies in the column. With massive shock damage. I mean, let's give We're it a go. Doing this, right? Feel my righteous fury. Uh. Okay, that seems to get the job done. Ow! We're bleeding. Hey, look, you're bleeding. Uh, enemy attack items and your own abilities can apply status effects to yourself or your enemies. Use the examine screen to find out about status effects on you. That's obviously a, just a dot, isn't it? 
Um, more info. Yeah, causes damage at the end of every turn. Stacks up to five times. It's got two stacks, I assume. These, all right, these guys are weak to fire. Are they all weak to fire? Wait, whose turn is it? He's weak to frost. Okay, random. Barbed arrows. What does that do? I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, inflicts uh, bleeding bad. damage. Here, take some of this magic cure potion. Okay. Okay. Bottled water. Debuffs removed. Make cool. sure you always carry a few potions. Just don't get grounded for raiding your apothecary's pantry like I did. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, let's get this guy here. Let's see, sir. Elven priest. He was preparing something there. Right, uh... Oh, yeah, that's it, little buddy. Let's get your heal. Yeah, you might as well use that because you get an extra attack anyway. There's no reason not to use it. Nice try, asshole. Hey. Ow. Man, I could be watching TV right now. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, a five didn't do too much. Oh, we can only use it on somebody else. I see, Buzz. Oh, I see. Um. I think we'll have to manage without. <laughs> Both sucking. Jesus asks of you. That's good. Right. I salute their uh, bodies. Yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't too... It was not like we were about to die, but, yeah, we had to, uh... chunk our way through them, though. <laughs> they pretend to be dead on the floor. <laughs> the commitment. You've got to, uh, appreciate the commitment. To get the stick of truth, we must recruit the Warriors 3. Yep. Run it, Buzz. Until you have more friends. Uh, wow. Not that, is it? You think that's funny? Uh. <laughs> oh, why did I hide of splinters? Maybe that's important for something, I don't know. I'm wrecking everybody's house. I don't think you'd even need to do any of this. <laughs> oh, that's Jimmy's house. Can't get in there. Uh, bunch of stuff. Facebook messaging than I am at speaking. Here, this will just go a lot faster if I friend you. Okay. We've got a new friend. <laughs> Kelly's like, yeah, I'll be a friend just because I'm um, so obsessed with Facebook. Mm. Oh. <gasps> um, sorry about that. 
<laughs> I guess they weren't expecting anyone to just open their front door, which is so uh, reasonable. Oh, we're... oh dear. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. Is is that is that what it means, Buzz? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, hello. Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? That's right, Pete. Don't, uh, don't believe everything you read on Facebook, okay? Okay. Oh, this is a druid crown. Excellent. I mean, yeah, that's fairly inappropriate. I, I guess it was Kelly's mum. That's, you see, I mean, I assume she stood out of her, outside her own house, right? Um... Oh, what? I'm sorry, kid. I'm going to be known as like the bully or something. Just goes around. Yeah, you know, the new kid. What's he about? He just goes around hitting everything with a stick and stealing and stealing from people. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's go. Yeah, I, 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 unless they didn't, they just like said it. Up, All right, he's got some armor. You're straight tripping, sis. No, 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 no. Don't die, Buzz. Oh, jeez. Mistimed that. <laughs> oh no, Buzz, you need to uh, heal yourself, buddy. Now, can you use items on other people? That's the uh, that's the question. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Eat those, Buzz. Come on. Danny, I do know, bro. Welcome in, sir. How's it going? I don't know if there's any mods around. Give Danny a little shout out there. If not, I'll uh, get on it. How you doing, bud? You all right? Are you well? Danny, what's going on? What have you been up to? Uh, I'll find out in a second. How, are you treating yourself? Are you uh, well? I hope so. Uh, are you a, a South Park fan at all? Uh, thank you, Squidge. Dead by Daylight. Excellent. I thought that if I had to guess, I would maybe guess. Uh, I know you're very dedicated to it. Uh, but yeah, I'm well. I'm well. You've been well as well. Excellent. Excellent, buddy. I'm glad to know you're still out there getting after it. Please hear that. Uh, yeah, we've uh, we just completed a game called Visage, which is um, a fairly gruesome and pretty scary horror game. And we've just started uh, The Stick of Truth, which is... Uh, completely different vibe obviously uh but yeah welcome in folks uh if you come with danny you may not know me my name is isnib call me is um i did a whole spiel but uh if you've got any questions do let me know i stream fairly frequently um oh you know of it danny yeah it's um if you like uh walking simulator puzzly horror games it's pretty good it's not perfect. My uh, my own experience with it is um, is very really rather scary uh, when we first started it. But you kind of get like halfway through the game and the the uh, you get you kind of used to it. 
uh, the novelty of the horror kind of wears off. So when you first start, you're like, oh no, I heard a noise over there. Uh, and by the time you get to the end of the game, you're like, well, shut up. Whatever, I'm just, you're stomping around like it's no big deal. So definitely worth playing, but uh, whether you want to get around to it or not. But um, yeah, thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. But yeah, we, we're, we've actually only got about 10 minutes left of our stream today. I do appreciate it, sir. Um, so yeah, we had like an hour and a half left. I was like, we're not going to end the stream early. So let's get right on with the next game. Complete, couldn't be far more, any more different. The stick of truth. Uh, do you like South Park, Danny? I know, this, I love it. Uh, some people are not really into it, though. It is what it is. But, uh, but we'll come in anyway. Uh, hang out for a minute. Well, I appreciate that, sir. Um, we're still doing this, right? Yes, we're still doing this. Yeah, that's it, little buddy. Uh, little buddy. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to try and get the timing right on Butter's attack here. Nah, too Me. soon. Far too soon. Oh, we got heal. That's what he's doing. Heals, is he? Um, right. I'll probably go for another uh, cheesy poof on Buzz because he can't heal himself with his ability. Uh, I ain't got enough PP to do anything. Let's go. Okay. Attack the wrong target there. This will be good though. Alright, let's see if we can get the timer on this down. There we go. Bonus holy damage. Excellent. Oh. Missed time that. Okay, but he's uh he's burning. Took him out. Uh used to, did ya? Excellent. Well, you know, it's um I suppose uh it's gonna you know it's very it's a very different beast. Over the what twenty five years or so, it's been on the go. Man, I could be watching TV right now. Yes, you could be. Hush, hush, sir. Uh, um, I guess it, he's in the front row now, so it Wait, doesn't whose turn is it? actually matter, does it? There we go. Right, it seems like um, and this is a reason to do multiple hits with your melee. It seems like you strong attack does. A Far more damage. Uh, okay, there we go. I'll take a lot of crap. But it's not all crap. Some of these like, do drop healing potions to uh, replace what you've uh, used. Yeah, so the combat's not difficult, but it's um, there's definitely moments there. If I wasn't using the appropriate heals, I would have potentially got game over speaking of game over let's let's just do a little save stay on top of this you're looking for craig well he we can't are. play he's in detention something about flipping off the principal uh, we need to get to the other guys first okay i mean craig flips on everyone so uh you yeah, know that's not really that's not really not really here or there is it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure whose uh, garage that is. Just destroying everyone's houses. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> and <Answer Philip. laughs> Oh my god. What are they like? Oh dear. That sounded a bit too much. I went a little bit too far, that one. Okay. Oh dear. I mean, we're getting. <laughs> Everything we're destroying, we're getting stuff. Greetings, human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. Very well. The captain is my mob. I, I can't go outside when she's at home. But the <laughs> Federation has an urgent mission for you. Yeah. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. 
Only it's not a tricorder, it's my dad's iPad 2. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> the Federation is counting on you to find that tricorder. Okay, I'm going to steal your stuff in the, in the meantime. So yeah, Kevin Stoley is, is very much uh, into Star Trek. So I guess he's not he's not uh, playing uh, he's not playing the stick of truth with us. Got a new quest though. Oh, I can't go in his parents' room. Let's have a look in his bathroom briefly. Chicken bones are random. Okay. Not much of anything here. Um, I might have to uh, wrap this up before uh, I get too far. That's fine. Cool, another fast troll point there. Uh, just wrecking people's snowmen is... It's, it's not good, is it? Um, what this? Oh. Oh, was I... Not supposed to do that. Was I supposed to move the child collar out of the way first? Or maybe not? Oh, maybe I can't get that now. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Oh! Wow, I mean... <laughs> uh, I mean, you should probably lock your front door. I mean, not that you should obviously be expecting random kids to be... Uh, you know, just busting on your house, but still. Um, right, okay, we're at the community center, are we? Oh, there we go. We've got a new friend for, for, of Pete. Uh, right, okay, yeah. So, uh, Craig, uh, what? I mean, was he? Yeah, he said he's grounded, his dad said. So I guess we just have to go to... Uh, oh, there's Canada in that direction. <laughs> uh, we've got to go look for uh, Tweak and uh, Token first. Right, yeah, I guess we'll just finish exploring. I guess we can head over this way up to Stark's Pond and come back... Uh, to the for uh, to the church, look for Kevin's iPad. I guess. I guess it doesn't hurt to do one so far for the town, does it? What? Why not? We're not popular enough yet. I don't know. Helping our popularity by uh, smashing everything in town. Go <laughs> in the community center. We cannot. That's unfortunate. God, we're literally wrecking everything. Oh, how do we get that backpack? Can we... Okay. All right, made it to school. Not that we're, it's not a school day, presumably. Uh, 
but I see my kids, isn't it? Of course it is. There's this cool old dude who sells clothes on the other side of town. Enjoy your popularity and 1.9 children in your 401k, conformist. <laughs> I see you only Duff and the K. You are a rotting corpse to me. Yeah. We are all dying from the moment we are born. <laughs> oh, please. What goth kid walks around in those clothes? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll need to dress like a goth kid to get them to like me, I guess. We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. <laughs> the irony. Right, I think uh, we can't go through there. Okay. Right, let's leave for now. Okay, we're at the end of the stream. I guess we'll. I think you can save at any point. Anywhere. So I guess we'll just save You're it here. Weird. Yes, I mean, I can't deny that. Yeah, that, that's a, as good a place as any. Right in front of the school. Cool. There we go. Let's jump over for a minute while we wrap up. Oh, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty awesome string. I had a lot of fun today. Thank you for uh, thank you for being here. It's uh it feels weird after uh, like the past more than a week, over a week we've been streaming directly on PC, and now I'm sat over here on console again. It's a bit strange. But yeah, Visage was uh was pretty uh pretty awesome overall i enjoyed it no thank you thank you squidge thank you for being here um wasn't a perfect game by any means but it was definitely an experience and i'm glad i got to experience that with you guys uh yeah stick of truth is <laughs> is rather hilarious uh i'm uh i'm excited to see what turns up as we uh as we get through it like i say i've played it before but it has been a whole eight years since i have so uh god i can't even remember being that young it's crazy um but guys thank you all so much for being let me uh just whip through the thank yous quickly uh for streaming not that guy ryan surprise surprise thank you uh ryan for the uh, gift sub went to uncle buck uh, thank you to uh, Root and uh, Sleep Mick uh, for the bitties. Uh, thank you to uh, ST, Stamina, for the follow. Thank you to Commentator for the raid. And thank you to Danny of the internet for the raid. I greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, Red Mage, I don't know what to say about it, buddy. It's um, it's not you know, it's not really my fault, is it? I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh <laughs> Um, yo, Nightmare, how are you doing? We're literally finishing up, bud. Welcome in, though. We, uh, Nightmare, we finished, um, we completed the Visage earlier. Um, but yeah, no, thank you for all being here, guys. Uh, yeah, you can't blame me for that, Red Mage. That was as shocking to me as it was to you. No, thank you, Seastar. Thank you for being here. Um, it's just Thursday today, isn't it? I was, uh, my upload there was, uh, went dropped to the orange for a second. Oh, it's back up the screen. It's fine. Um, we will uh, we'll return tomorrow, same time as always. Uh, we'll press on with, we'll make a, a full, you know, do a decent full stream on uh, Stick of Truth. Like, uh, it's not a massively long game, I think. I, those save files, some of those save files are deleted, but it's like 13, 14 hours. Not long at all, all things considered. I don't, you know, we won't complete it tomorrow, but... We'll have to uh, wait and see. Um, I think our next game after this may very well be... Uh, like I say, it's going to be... I have to double-check it. It's on, it's on Game Pass. Jump into the Game Pass. And we may even finish up that before the end of the month, which would mean no votes or anything from the producers. New votes be coming in 1st of November. See what they want me to do. But I may uh, just pick something for us from Game Pass. I don't know what's on there that I specifically want to dive into but maybe maybe uh dragon quest 11 i don't know i would like i've never really i've played dragon quest game before but i've never like fully uh got into one or completed one 
So that could be interesting. But um, yeah, let's see who's around for us to uh, go and raid. Have a little look. If you <laughs> like everything else, Squidge. <laughs> um. Um. Hmm. A few good options there. Interesting. Interesting, Squidge. It's funny that it's interesting you can admit that that's you're living proof in that regard then uh, that's that's advertising and marketing working i do get that though i think a thing can seem like a nice thing to have you don't necessarily need to use it it just <laughs> i just like to have this especially like um video games like the overall presentation be like ah look at look at the trailer look at the screenshots uh look at the name especially if it's like oh well and it's all the features and it's like Especially if something's like the special version or the limited edition version. And you're like, oh, that's what I, I really want that. And then I've done that. I um, I own, uh, I thought I wanted the Disgaea games, which maybe I'll do. And then uh, I've just never really played them. Look, I, uh, I bought Disgaea on the PS2. Disgaea 2 on the PS2. And then uh, this guy at three game collection on the PS3, which is uh, this guy three, four, and D2. Whatever that is, I don't know. Uh, just because I was like, I got it in my head, I was like, oh yeah, I should have those, and that's great. And then I just never played them. Who knows? We shall see. Uh, yeah, no, it's it. <laughs> ADHD. Yeah, it's we're, we've all got a bit of it in us, Squidge. We all were. Uh, or do things like that but you know for whatever reason um no not all squids i have a ps2 uh with many ps1 and ps2 games on it unfortunately when we were playing uh final fantasy 5 it uh got to the point where it wasn't really liking the disc um did we get through i think we got through final fantasy 6 and I was like, I'm not risking any more PlayStation games on it. Um, unfortunately, it was not. It was making all sorts of freaky, crazy noises. And it did not seem happy. Uh, I do also actually own a PS3. I'll have like two games, two, three games for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just never. And that was gifted to me. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I grew up with on PS1 and PS2. Um, but we do have access to those, you know, old, some, I've got a bunch of PS2 games for us to, we can emulate, play the discs on an emulator on PC. I'm sure we, even if you don't have the disc, you can get around that. Uh, and I've got like all the, P all reasonable selection of PS1 games, certainly ones that I have an interest in that we can play on the Retro Pi. So, you know, no, uh. Yeah, it's when you mentioned when you squidge when you mentioned about Spyro. When well, that's what I said, probably ha probably have them in that regard. I just don't have them. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, I just went the way of the Xbox just because literally uh, someone gave me one for cheap, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll have that. That's literally it. And then I got into achievements, and then that kind of set me. Uh, no, that's right. So you don't need to don't need to uh, remember. Um, But uh, yeah, sorry. I was looking for looking for someone to raid, wasn't I? Here we go. Let me pop this back up. Who have we raided so far? Yeah, we did Lily, Slight, and Buck. Uh, Lily and Slight are both raiding, but let, you know, let's mix it up. Uh, it's been a minute since we've raided uh, Feifu. She's playing Little Nightmares. 
which I could be, you know, a bit scary. I don't know. First time playing Little Nightmares. It's technically on our list. Scotty added it to the list, although I don't even know if I have access to it. Is it on Game Pass? I guess it would be technically, but, you know, for myself, I'm probably not going to be hanging around long enough to, uh, to, um, see too much of it so I'm, it's not gonna like be a spoiler and it's not a game that i'm like too concerned about i think the narrative is mostly told in the gameplay um uh did i play the other two uh oh spyro what red mage no no yeah i've not you know me i've not played any of them but yeah let's uh separate uh to fight i'm gonna check in with her um so, guys, yeah, I will return tomorrow. Same time as always. We'll make some chonky progress in Stick of Truth. Uh, and then we'll have a nice weekend, of course. Uh, Red Dwarf on Sunday, if you're around for it. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for... I don't know when Spyro's going to come around, uh, Squidge. That's, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I am looking forward to Spyro when we get to it. Um, indeed. Uh, guys, yeah, if anybody needs me before tomorrow... Uh, or at the weekend, I'm around, you can just message me. Yes, and if you're around, check out Red Dwarf with us. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Uh, let's go. Okay, guys. Have a, have a good evening.